Milton Head Christian Academy on the campus in Bluffton. It is the Cross Island Bowl tonight, only on WHHI Sports TV. Marcus Walsh along with my partner Daniel Court. We've got an interesting matchup tonight, Daniel. When you look at these two teams, Hilton Head Christian Academy is looking for another chance at making a deep run through skis of playoffs. Hilton Head Prep looking for their first win. We saw them a couple of weeks ago against John Paul II. One thing we know for sure, no matter how this game turns out, there are some scary and spooky football players on this field for both teams here tonight. A lot of good athletes. You're, yeah. you're, you're exactly right. Unfortunately for Prep, most of them are on the Hilton Head Christian Academy side of the ball. But we talked about this last week. There are games and there are rivalry games. A lot of these players know each other. Their families know each other. There's an extra level of intensity that's going to come into the to the stadium and then on the field tonight. So that will be interesting. But um, talking about the football teams, Christian Academy is perhaps one of the most balanced teams at this level that we're agree. going to see all season. I great offense, great quarterback play, good kicking, and special teams versus – uh, Hilton Head Prep, which we know is very young, they're in a development phase of their program, right? And they're also incredibly depleted with injuries. I think Hilton Head Christian Academy and John Paul II, while they do it differently offensively, Christian Academy goes through the air. JP2, as we saw, really relies on the ground game a lot. They're very similar offensively, yeah. and I think for Hilton Head Prep, they're going to have to have their hair on fire. They're going to have to come out with reckless abandon, run the football. And, and really play outstanding out of the get-go to have a chance. It could happen. They're going up against a big-time juggernaut here tonight. Yeah, it's home night for Christian. Yep. It's senior night. You got uh, tailgating going on here. It's going to be an exciting atmosphere, but your assessment is exactly spot on. In golf, we say fear the injured golfer. You know, the, the team that has nothing to lose – can come out and play reckless abandon, and that's what right. Prep needs to do. They need to turn that 3-4 defense into basically a 3-8 defense, drop eight men back to try to slow down this high-powered passing game of Christian, and then they've got to count on Christian to beat themselves in a lot of ways. Christian's going to need to make some turnovers, have some penalties. That's about their best chance. Otherwise, Christian's going to use this as a preparation for the playoffs starting next week. Last year we saw this game. It was 42 to nothing in favor of Christian Academy. We'll see what Prep does tonight. We'll see what Hilton Head Christian Academy does tonight. It's senior night. We've got a whole lot of action coming up. But when we return, it's our tailgate segment. That's next on WHHI Sports. This has been the Mike Sackman, Keller Williams pregame show. Much more straight ahead on WHHI Sports TV. Hi, I'm Mike Sackman, broker at Keller Williams Realty. I've maintained a successful business model through multiple market shifts over time. I know this market and I know real estate. Serving 22 years in the Navy as a Navy diver, combined with a lifetime of boating on the coast, have enabled me to know the waterways that are an integral part of the low country lifestyle. Whether you're buying or selling, myself and my team can help you navigate the coastal South Carolina real estate market. Give us a call. Have you joined the Express Comfort Club from Summit Services Heating and Air? It's the ultimate way to keep your cool. Membership is free and includes discounts on routine maintenance, 15% discount on all repairs, three-year parts and labor warranty, no overtime charges, plus other benefits. Your comfort is just a call away. To sign up for Express Comfort Club, call 843-836-2653. All right, it is football season. That means tailgating. And we love our, a good grill. So we came to the perfect spot. It's Casual Living Fireside Grilling. This is Pam. She's going to walk us through all of the great grills they have here. Gosh, you have a lot, too. Well, thank you. For tailgating season, the green egg is obviously one of our favorites because of the flavor of the meat that you get. It's going to take a little bit longer to cook, but it's so worth it because of the flavor. Over yes. here, you can see they have a little mini max, which it's is so perfect cute. for tailgating because you can put it right in the back of your car and take it with That's you. That's a great one. And it's a wonderful little tailgating grill. Okay, I've heard a lot about the green egg, so that's a popular one. Now, as far as your house, we have lifetime grills, starting with the XO grill. 
We've got the Weber Summit here. When we move back to the right over here, we've got the Lynx, the XO, and the Sedona by Lynx. Those are all more lifetime girls that you're gonna have for at least 20 years or longer, and many of the parts are fully warrantied. That's On top great. of that, we also do a lot of islands. <gasps> this is a yes. Challenger cart island that, um, very popular. We've got a Sabre girl in it. Sabre is more of a 10 to 15 year girl, like a Weber. We have the whole line of Weber girls outside and they are gonna run with a 10 year warranty, but they are very stable. People really like Weber. They've known the name for years. So with all the choices that you have here, Pam, you really do kind of need someone to walk you through all the pros and cons. Can you help them with that Definitely. for our viewers we coming in? Everybody here can. Everybody's very knowledgeable and can walk through it. So you can just stop in, you can shop. They've got lots of great items out sale, yeah. outside as well. And what a great way to come in, do some tailgating, or heck, just have a big old party, I right? Know, what fun. I love it. Casual living, fireside and grilling. We'll get you back to football. Thanks, Jess. Let Casual Living Fireside and Grillin' inspire your outdoor style. Stop by and shop our 15,000 square foot showroom for the perfect patio furniture, fire pits, umbrellas, grills, outdoor kitchens, and more. We're here to help turn your outdoor space into a haven of luxury and style. We offer delivery and setup. We're the only company that services what we sell. Please come by as we love during your business. Casual Living on the coast offers a unique lifestyle, but with that comes the need for a specialized approach to helping protect residents and business owners from year-round winds, high tides, and torrential rain. Since 1850, our family-owned business has been helping friends and neighbors navigate whatever Mother Nature has thrown our way. At CT Lowndes, we know coastal insurance. Visit us at ctlowndes.com. Let us help you prepare for hurricane season. You know, not very typical actually that we have coaches from two different teams in one interview, but this is a special circumstance because football is literally in the bloodline. I'd love to introduce you to Jay and King and Thine, both of course coaches, one for Hilton Head Prep and one for Hilton Head Christian. Y'all have been playing football for a long time. Tell us a little bit about your football career. Yeah, so uh, my brother and I, we're both from uh, Illinois, uh, played a, a high school outside of Springfield. Um, if you don't know where it's at, it's just about an hour north of St. Louis. Uh, we started in sixth grade, like most young kids. Played all the way through high school. He got the opportunity to go and play in college. Uh, we were both pursued and recruited to play college football, uh, but I guess there was just a different plan elsewhere. And so uh, we played for about eight years. He played, like I said, first year co uh, college. And then, lo and behold, we kind of found ourselves coaching with our dad, and that's kind of where the story started towards the end of college. I think it's fun that, you know, you get the opportunity then to come together on a night like this. And uh, you mentioned before we started actually that a lot of times dad flies down for the game. Not this time, though. Where's dad tonight? Where's dad tonight? Yeah. My dad is gearing up for playoffs in Illinois. Good luck, dad. Um, and, yep, he's gearing up there in their first round playoffs okay. over in Illinois. And uh, I think mom's watching live, so... You always get the opportunity to say, hi, mom, right? You got to do that. Hi, mom. Hi, dad. Uh, we're about to take the field. Of course, we're pre-recording this uh, as part of our game. But real quick before you do that, uh, what's the rivalry like? A friendly family rivalry? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's always fun, especially in the area. Um, him being here at Christian Academy, me at Prep. We both are passionate about students, and what really drives us is the overall mission where we get a chance to invest in the kids, and this is just the fun stuff on top of it. And, you know, so it doesn't matter what the logo is. We really enjoy just being able to be a part of something bigger than ourselves, and coach, coach, coaching the kids and stuff is so much fun. But, again, this is just a nice icing on top. And we do have a small family rivalry. He's beat me probably more than I would like, and I've been able to have the opportunity to be on the upper side of that hand, so... And you probably noticed not just brothers, but twins. Are you identical? Yeah. We actually, we're twins and we have older brothers and uh, one's in Orlando and Nashville. They're also identical twins too, so. What a fun family. Well, thanks so much for taking a minute with us and we'll get you back to the game. In life, some things just go together, like a burger and fries and home and auto insurance from State Farm. So make it a combo. 
Combining your home and auto insurance could save you time and money. And who doesn't like that? Just call State Farm agent Kevin Severe and find out how you can start saving today. It's just another way we're here to help life go right. At McGinnis Orthodontics, we're committed to giving you a reason to love your smile. We offer state-of-the-art technologies to create beautiful, healthy smiles by utilizing cutting-edge technology and artificial intelligence to guarantee the best results possible. We're in the 1% of top Invisalign providers in the country. The technologies we use are amazing, but we're pretty sure that it's how much we love what we do and the neighbors we do it for that makes the real difference. Visit us in Hilton Head, Bluffton, and Beaufort and mention this offer to get $250 off treatment. We look forward to seeing you and for you to love your smile. I'm Chip Welch with OC Welch Ford. Come pick out your brand new 2022 Expedition or Explorer with over 50 to choose from. With interest rates as low as 1.9%, call or come see me today at OC Welch Ford in Hardyville, South Carolina. National Anthem brought to you by O.C. Have a beautiful, beautiful night for some football. We have Hilton Head Prep and White. We have Hilton Head Christian Academy in, in blue. Yeah, you guys are away. You're gonna call it. We have a standardized coin. We have a quarter, George Washington as the head. We also have a drummer as the tail. Drummer as the tail, George Washington as the head. Okay, I'm gonna throw it in the air. You're gonna call it out to so myself. Ballard, and my fellow officials can hear you. If I drop it, we'll do it again. Heads. Heads is the call. It is a tails. It is a tails. What would you like to do? And number two, Mason. Defer. There you go. Okay. They would like to defer. What side would you like to defend? We're gonna defend that way. Okay. I have blue on that side. Why are you gonna be on this side? Shoulder to shoulder. Correction, Morgan beaten ball. My apologies. <laughs> Blue has won the toss. They have elected to defer. White will receive. You guys come on out with your ball. You'll be Looks at the like the 50. Eagles have won the toss and chose to defer. Shake hands. Good luck. The Dolphins will receive to start our game tonight. We welcome you back here to Hilton Head Christian Academy. Marcus Walsh, Daniel Court, Jessa Jeremiah, Larry Giacomo, Christopher Sanders, Jeremy Pope, Maria Soden, and Justin Williams with you here. Hilton Head Christian Academy in the gold and dark blue. They kick it off deep, and we are underway in the Cross Island Bowl as the kick's going to bound at the goal line and they're gonna call it a touchback, returning the kick for HHP for Hilton Ed Prep was number 21. And Daniel, I see what you meant by the numbers being jumbled up, yeah, jumbled up on our roster. There. It looks like Will Henry Alford. Will Henry Alford, number 21. They're, they're the correct numbers, they're just not in numerical order. Well, the our number's right tonight, yeah. partner. What is this, our eighth game of the season? Number eight. The, it, it, Tis the last one. Yeah, it's kind of kind of sad to be uh, bidding farewell to high school football on WHHI for the year. 
But what an exciting year it's been, and what an oh, exciting been night year. we have here at Christian on their new campus. It's senior night. The stands are full. It's a rivalry game. This First is going to be fun. First down and 10. Passing is Hilton Head Christian Academy getting there on defense. The pass actually thrown by Hilton Head Prep, and it is incomplete. And that was a ball fired in by Wyatt Harmer. We saw him against uh, John Paul II, and he played you know, pretty well considering it'll be second down and 10. Yeah, uh, Harm, Harmer's a freshman and he is. Has, has good size. I understand he's a very good tennis player, so his family is very athletic, so he clearly has Harmer good genes. Rolling around, and he's going to take off and be tackled at the 30-yard line. Close to a first down, we've got a flag down. And our referee for tonight is Kevin Palmer in his 17th year. It'll be a replay, a second down. Johnny Millen is our umpire. He's in his 15th year. J.J. Turner in his sixth at linesman. Line judges Xavier Westcott in his seventh year. Alan Falia is our back judge in his second year. And John Opgar is in his third year, again, at side judge. All right, over and under question for you, partner. Will there be more flags or less flags thrown than what we had last week? I hope less. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd say that. Second Me down. Too. Here's Harmer looking to throw downfield incomplete. Summit Services Heating and Air, your leader in home performance services in the low country, is our presenting and trophy sponsor. Thanks to Summit Services for supporting WHHI sports all year long. And we've seen our first flag brought to you by Pay Proudly. The folks at Pay Proudly are here tonight. Don't get penalized with processing fees. Call Pay Proudly. Marcus, you had mentioned that you didn't think uh, number 24, the star running back and defensive back for Hilton Head Prep would be playing, and I do not see him on the field. And for an already really depleted and very young team, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's a painful reality. Yes, it sure is. Harmer going to go out of the shotgun, gets the snap, has some time, throws the deep ball, and that one's picked off by number five, Tucker Tavapaw near the goal line, dives for the pylon, and he's awfully close, if not, got it. They're going to call him down at the two. First down and goal, Tucker Tavapaw. 52 tackles, 30 for solo, 22 assisted tackles, three picks, and 60 yards worth of interception yardage on the year for Tucker. And oh, by the way, he can punt too. He's yeah, averaging close to about 38 yards per punt. I understand he's one of the top rated punters in the state. Yes. First down and goal for HHCA at the two. Clark going to hand it off. To the left side from a reverse. That's a run in for a touchdown. HHCA gets in on a quick scamper from two yards out for a TCL step it up TD. Catherine, how are you? Six to nothing. The point after is on the way. And again, we hear a little hail to the victors. Must be yeah. a popular fight song around the low country. I I, I guess so. Until last week. Right. We heard it last week. We're hearing it again th this this week, and, and Michigan sure is having a good season. They are. The extra point is And that good. is young Cole Lindstedt uh, kicking, the freshman. Yep. Uh, do it, having a very good season for, for the Eagles. We got to take a timeout. We'll be right back. 7 of the Eagles at the Cross Island Bowl on WHHI Sports TV. Elsewhere's in Old Town, the Low Country's only veteran-owned sports memorabilia and retail gift shop, located in the heart of Old Town, Bluffton, where there's something for everyone, from truffles and coffee to lotion, scents, and local honey, kids' puzzles, stickers, books, and more. Come on in and see what's in our store. Of course, our passionate sports cards and memorabilia, where we buy and sell collections daily. So when in doubt, don't throw them out. Come in and let us help you out. Old Town Golf Cars offers golf car service and sales of all makes and models in the Bluffton and Hilton Head area. We are authorized dealers for Gurria, Tomberlin, Advanced EV, and Royal EV, as well as many others. We have a wide range of golf carts to choose from at the most affordable prices in the area. Call or stop by today to learn more about our inventory.
Hi, I'm Beth Drake. As your local realtor, I am proud to support our local sports. If you're considering buying or selling a home, you want an experienced agent who knows the local market and how to get you the best price. In the past 10 years, I've helped over 700 buyers and sellers achieve their real estate goals. From staging and marketing your property to assisting you in finding the home of your dreams, I would love to help you as well. Call me at 843-422-7500. Good news, folks. Lonsell Daly back along with another Hilton Head Prep Dolphin to return this kick after a 7-0 lead to open up the ball game. The kick is high. It's now a squibber on the ground. It looked like it hit the air. Maybe it didn't. Retrieved by number 21, and he's going to take it down the sideline to the 42-yard line. That for Hilton Head Prep is Will Henry Alford. I can thank the PA guy for the assist on that one. Will Henry Alford returns it to the 42 yard line. First down and 10, really good field position with 11.19 to go in the first quarter here on WHHI Sports TV. Again, a reminder, you can step it up and you should step it up with TCL, the Technical College of the Low Country, our touchdown sponsor. Yeah, good good return there by Alford. That's, uh, that's the kind of plays, the big plays that Prep is desperately gonna need tonight to keep uh, to keep that Hilton Head Christian offense off the field. Here's a run up the middle, and it's a gain of about five. And it is number 21, Will Henry Alford, with the carry. And Will Henry Alford was a big key for Hilton Head Christian Academy in the JP2 game. Yes, he was. According to head coach Dustin Etheridge. Hey, and one, uh, one of the better athletes the they have. Here. Yep. Yeah, for sure. And I still don't see Second down and three. Daly on the field, Marcus. So um, that's unfortunate because, you know, what they really want to do is ground and pound if they can. Here's Will Henry Alford again. He takes it to the outside. He's got a little bit of running room. And this is exactly what I talked to you about before the game, is if Hilton Head Prep can play a style of offense like what May River did at least in the first exactly. quarter. Exactly. They have to do it the whole game through, though, yep. is just melt this clock down like I can't believe it's not butter. Yes. And That's get, right. it, get it rolling. That's right. The time of possession is just so critical when yeah. you've got a high-powered uh, air attack and, let's face it, running attack like the Eagles have. The best defense against that is time of possession. Our Hold media. on to that football, get first downs, and uh, stay on the field. Keep that offense on the field. Our media day sponsor, the Furniture Warehouse Direct Gallery, FWDG. As Harmer thrown to the sideline, it's caught. And I really like what Hilton Head Prep's doing on this drive as it's caught by Gunner Bonomo. I'll say it five times fast for you once again. Gunner Bonomo, Gunner Bonomo, Gunner Bonomo, Gunner Bonomo, Gunner Bonomo. And that's why he's the best, folks. <laughs> Don't try that at home. Will. It's, it is one of the best names we've had this season. It we've is, had some good ones. We've yeah. had some really good ones. As well, Sharp makes the tackle after the Gunner Bonomo catch. There's another one. Fourth down and four listed on the scoreboard. 9.25 remaining in the quarter. FWDG, the furniture and services you deserve, our media day sponsor. We were able to go there. There's a little razzle dazzle, a flip on the fake punt, oh, and there goes nice Cargill play. across the 50 to the 49 yard line. Number 11, hello. Sean Graham. What a, that's right, I, I apologize. It's Sean Graham with the carry off the pitch. Little razzle dazzle, a Kevin M. Severe first down for Hilton Head Prep. And they're inside HHCA territory. I I, I, I like it. Look, you, you know, what do you got to lose? You got nothing to lose. We said in our in our pregame assessments that, you know, that's sometimes a dangerous team when you're talking rivalry, especially. Come in here, you got nothing to lose. Throw, throw the whole kitchen sink at them and see what happens. And here's Alford again, up the middle. He's getting a bulk of the carries. We'll find out hopefully later on the situation with Lancel Daly. He was in on the kickoff return to uh, start this drive for Hilton at Prep, but we haven't seen him since. I see him over on the sidelines, Marcus. He's, okay. in, he's in uniform, he's got his helmet on. We can see him over there right now, number 24. That's, that's a good sign. Doesn't look to be limping or any no noticeable injury that we can see, but. Uh, could, could be that he's just getting reduced snaps today. He's, he's had to work awfully hard here. Well, he's their year, workhorse. Possibly. And it's true, Yes, it's very true. Second down, six, ball at the 45 yard line. 7-0 HHCA, Harmer hands it off, and this one is going to go to number four. That is, I'll race you to find it. <laughs> it's right at the end. It's Torin Horbar. 
And that was Matt Big Daddy Scarpa, number 77 on yeah. the tackle. Boy, he's and, uh, and he is a big he's guy. A, he, he's a handful in there. He certainly is. Very aggressive player. Uh, I wonder if he's any relation to the legendary Frank Scarpa, the tennis coach at Furman University. That that is an interesting question, especially you being a Furman alum. I'm gonna so I'm gonna do some digging what? at halftime. They're like the Paladins or something, right? They're the, they're the Paladins. And a Paladin the is purple a purple Paladins. A knight. It's a knight. It's a it's a knight and a white horse. How about that? Out of the shotgun, rolling around is Harmer. He's going to scramble across the 49, get to near midfield. Actually, my aunt was at Ashland University as we have a pay, uh, pay proudly flag on the play. Um, she was at Ashland University, our former alma mater. It was Ashland College back when she was there. Actually, she sent me a picture and we have an injured player down and I believe we're gonna be taking a time out. Let's do that, be right back. Well, actually, We'll uh, wait on the flag first, I think, it here. Looks like Al, Al Bar Barger for uh, Prep is down. And boy, that's the last thing Prep can afford is, is more injuries. It's, it's a penalty there. We've got the timeout, the injury timeout. We'll be back on WHHI Sports TV. Hey, are you looking to make living in the low country a little more affordable? Do you have a detached garage just like this one? Well, why not add on to it and make it a passive income opportunity? They call this a carriage house or an accessory dwelling unit or ADU. By building an ADU, you will increase your home's value, have an opportunity to actually make some money, and give someone a high quality home to live in and rent just like this one. My name is Ryan from Bluffton Builders and my goal is to make home ownership more enjoyable through the highest quality craftsmanship, convenience, and communication. To learn more, go to Bluffton.Build forward slash ADU. Living on the coast offers a unique lifestyle, but with that comes the need for a specialized approach to helping protect residents and business owners from year-round winds, high tides, and torrential rain. Since 1850, our family-owned business has been helping friends and neighbors navigate whatever Mother Nature has thrown our way. At CT Lounge, we know coastal insurance. Visit us at ctlounge.com. Let us help you prepare for hurricane season. Hi, I'm Barry Edwards with Island Tire and Automotive Services. Here at Island Tire, we like to provide you with peace of mind by using the best with Michelin tires. With 19 plants in North America, seven of those are here in South Carolina. Michelin makes it easy to support local giving because they provide the best quality, top leading innovation and service. Three things Michelin and Island Tire and Automotive Services have in common quality, innovation, and service. Give us a call today. Hi, I'm Chip Welch with OC Welch Ford. Come pick out your brand new 2022 Expedition or Explorer with over 50 to choose from. With interest rates as low as 1.9%, call or come see me today at OC Welch Ford in Hardyville, South Carolina. All right, this is our sideline report. We always like to thank our sponsors, the good folks over at Consolidated Planning help make this broadcast possible. And also that helping make a lot of things possible are the parents here at Hilton Head Christian Academy. It is senior night, so we're celebrating seniors and their parents. Right now we've got Debbie and Scott Hammett who are joining us. Not just parents, also part of the staff, Debbie is. So nice to see you and tell us a little bit about what it's like to come out and support on this beautiful night to watch a football game. It's, I mean, it's amazing to be here as a parent, as a faculty member. It, the feeling here is truly just as a family. I mean, it's not a school, it's a family and the culture here just um, embodies that in every shape and way because we all love each other in so many different ways. So it's a great place to be. We love coming here. You can feel, you know, just the energy that the students have and the faculty and it's a great group, a great group of kids as well, of which you have two here at Hilton Head Christian Academy. Take a moment and brag on your, your young ones, not so young anymore. Tell us about them. So we actually have it. We've had three children here at uh, Christian Academy. One's out to USC right now. And then we have a senior daughter, Lily Parker, and then Davis Parker, who's a sophomore. So. And uh, yeah, went out here tonight. So great to really, you know, take a moment, celebrate. Tell us a little bit about what you do here for Hilton Head Christian Academy. Sure. Yeah, I work um, for the Academic Resource Center um, with students of all varying needs and help them get on track with anything they have um, need of and support for K through five. So. Sounds great. Thanks for what you're doing for the school. Thanks for taking a minute with us, and good luck tonight. Thank you. And thanks again to Luke Garonski and Consolidated Planning, and we'll get you back to the game. We welcome you back. 7.14 to go in the first quarter of the 
Cross Island Bowl. It is 66 degrees at game time. Wind north northeast, seven miles an hour, 76% humidity, but feels a lot better than it did uh, last week when it got down to about 49.50 as it's fourth down and 11. And Hilton had prepped to punt. This is a heck of a kick back in HHC up inside the 10 where it'll be returned by number two. That is Morgan Badenbaugh. And Badenbaugh takes it out to about the 35 yard line where it'll be first down and 10 for HHCA. Well, we hope uh, AJ, AJ Barger is, is, is okay. I yeah. mean, we, we, we were just talking with Lisa Richardson about the, what, 35 minute stoppage we had last week. That's right. With the May River Bluffton contest. Yep. And I understand that that, that young man is, is okay. Is a okay. It's good news for but, sure. But prep already being young and being incredibly depleted. In fact, I think Dustin Etheridge said uh, about a third of his team is injured and not playing. So they can ill afford to have any more injuries, especially to key players. Clark over the middle, caught by number 14. That is Gavin Thompson. And Thompson to about the 41 yard line. HHCA leads the series 13 to seven. The last win for Hilton Head Prep, I believe came in around 2018 or so. Um, I have it listed for you. I'll get it for you momentarily. Again, 42 to nothing was the final score of this game last year that we saw here on WHHI Sports as there's a run for a couple. Good tackle made, or at least in on the play, is number three. Gunner Bonomo. <laughs> Gunner Bonomo, there's indeed. And uh, Bonomo with a good play as Danny Fernandez as well in on the stop. Well, I've been really excited to see uh, Dylan Clark, number seven at quarterback here for Christian. I've, yeah. I've been watching him on a film and looking at his stats, which are, which are pretty impressive. Uh, they've got a long list of great quarterbacks. And Clark, he looks to be just deep. one more of them. Hello, this ball oh, caught. That's wow. gonna be a big play. And walking in for a touchdown is Christian Academy. How about that? Well, sharp. Number 18, looking like the receiving version of Peyton Manning on that play. Now, Marcus, wow. the best receivers they talk about have this unique ability to high point the ball and snatch it out of the air. That's exactly what Sharp did. He high pointed that. It was a beautiful throw. Great defense there by Prep. Uh, but, you know, the. The receiver there just made an outstanding play to snatch that ball right out of the air. Well, Sharp with a tremendous catch. The extra point is no good. Is no good. And it is 13 to nothing in favor of HHCA here in the first quarter of the Cross Island Bowl. Much more football next on WHHI Sports TV. As a parent to another parent, TCL makes it very easy for you to succeed. TCL is definitely the smart choice. We really work with all of our students. It's the most affordable it's ever been. You have supportive staff here. We focus on practical teaching and hands-on application. You're going to be able to get to know your peers. You're going to get to know your instructors. It's a great transitional period for students coming out of high school. It is just a great school all around. Hi, I'm Bruce Wood managing partner of Hilton Head Capital Partners. And I'm here to be part of your fun high school football season. It's a great time. But the game begins with the coin toss, and that's what I like to see first. So let's have a fun time. Let's all play safe. Let's enjoy our teams. And please, don't drink and drive. Your parents want you around for a while. So enjoy the game and enjoy the season. Imagine how inconvenient your life would be without power. No lights, no refrigeration, no heating or cooling, no electronics. But with a Generac Home Standby Generator, you will have power when you need it most. Generac generators automatically provide backup power after sensing a power outage. So your life goes on uninterrupted. No doubt we're living in uncertain times and many of our loved ones are spending more time at home. Selectric will have you prepared when the power goes out. Selectric. Done right now. A reminder at McGinnis Orthodontics, you can love your smile, and Well Sharp was all smiles, as was everybody on HHCA's team, including Dylan Clark, 
after catching that deep ball from Clark for the touchdown to make it 13 nothing here with 5.55 remaining in the first quarter. The kick is deep. It's going to be returned by number 21, Will Henry Alford. And Will Henry Alford bouncing off a couple of tacklers, getting out to about the 27-yard line. Something tells me Will Henry Alford's going to get a lot of touches tonight because uh, I still don't see Lonzel Daly coming off the sidelines. Right. And Marcus, no sooner than I'm talking about Dylan Clark and looking forward to seeing him, and the long list and tradition of great quarterbacks that Hilton Head Christian has had, he goes up top and yeah. hits uh, well sharp for, what was that, about a 60-yard score? Something like that. Beautiful play. I, I mentioned it That's was – That's a highlight reel play. It was like a center fielder robbing a home run. It was yes. also like catching an alley-oop pass and slamming it home. A personal foul on the play there. 5.47 to go, 15-yard penalty. So, a personal foul goes against HHCA. And now from the 27 to the 42 it goes for Hilton Head Prep. They're down 13-0. Harmer goes out of the shotgun. He's got a man to his right. And they're definitely bunched up on the offensive line. It's going to be a handoff to who else? Will Henry Ulford. And Will Henry Ulford will take it to about the 44, maybe the 45. And uh, Prep's offensive line is getting a nice push up there against that really stingy and, and athletic and, and pretty big defensive front for Christian. So, so far so good. And I, and I really like the, the mix of run and pass that I've seen so far. If, if, if uh, the quarterback can get a little bit of time, he can set his feet and uh, throws a pretty good ball. And he's also fairly mo mobile. Prep with a 32-10 win in this game in 14. An 18-17 win in 16. In 18, a 35-19 win. And in 15, a 45-6 win. So those are the prep wins against Christian in the last 10 years of this rivalry. And again, we saw a lopsided affair last year. 4-42 remaining, third down and nine at the 43-yard line for HHP. Yeah, and both these teams have had strong traditions uh, athletically. They, they don't excel just at football, but they excel pretty much in all sports and all extracurriculars, theater, band, you name it. Both these schools have amazing cultures and followings. Here's but Harmer throwing downfield. Caught on the left side, nearly breaking it was number 11. That should be Graham. And it is, is Sean Graham. Making the catch, that's a Kevin M. Severe of State Farm first down. Call Kevin M. Severe for all your home and auto insurance needs at State Farm today. Yeah, nice nice route, and just as I was saying, Harmer uh, does a really good job of planting his feet and stepping into the throw for a young quarterback. You love to see those kinds of, of just solid fundamentals, and the offensive line is giving the time. That was a great route there by number 11. 3.57 to go and counting, a reminder whether buying or selling your next home, call Michael Sackman of Keller Williams. Michael Sackman are, and Keller Williams, our pregame sponsor, as there's a run to the 40-yard line, but we've got a pay proudly flag. Also a reminder that at Casual Living Fireside and Grillin', go there for the casual life. It's a flag against Hilton Head Prep, it looks like. Yeah, usually when you see that flag in the backfield, it means one thing, and that's holding. We saw this a lot last week, Marcus. It seems yeah. like, uh, boy, th these these momentum swings, when you get a good gain like that, to, to have that immediately go the other direction with a penalty, that that's a, like a double whammy because you're starting to build momentum, a little bit of confidence, and right. the next thing you know, you're going backwards. So that's the, the last thing, Prep, we, we talked about. They're going to have to play nearly a perfect game to have a chance here, so the penalties are, are, are going to be detrimental. Three minutes, 25 seconds to go. 13 nothing HHCA. And delay of game against Hilton Head Prep. One thing that I will note is that head coach 
of HHCA. Ron Peduzzi actually had stops at both of these schools, obviously here the last eight years at Hilton Head Christian Academy. Six of those eight years as the head coach, but has also coached in the college ranks. We talked about Chris Maribel earlier uh, in the year. He coached at Wake Forest, did Ron Peduzzi, and several other places all around the country, including in Pennsylvania, as there's a, a run for Harmer, and he takes it to about the 45-yard line. I think he coached at uh, California, Pennsylvania University as well. He's really, he's been around, and he's one of the dynamite guys here in the low country, especially in Skiza, is Ron Peduzzi. Yeah, he knows not only how to build a program, but he knows how to elevate a, a, an already successful program, which he's taken over here at Prep. You know, again, Tommy Lewis days, you, you can go way back with all the state championships. They're defending this year. And right now, it looks like they have enough of a balanced team to go pretty deep in the playoffs. Yeah, they do. Second down, 22 ball at the 45 yard line out of the shotgun. Goes Harmer, he's set to throw. He's gonna fire downfield, tipped and picked off by HHCA, and it's gonna be taken back a good ways. Still on his feet down the sideline. I think that's sharp. Inside the 30 yard line, it is number 18. I believe you're right, Daniel. That is intercepted by Well Sharp. So Well Sharp, the catch of the day, possibly the play of the day, and then the interception. And now they say pass interference. Wow. Yep, there's the flag at the 50-yard line. Well, just as we were talking about, a big play erased by penalties. We're seeing this a lot. Again, our officials, Kevin Palmer, Johnny Millen, J.J. Turner, Xavier Westcott, Alan Thalia, and John Apgar. I still like, even though uh, it's we It's listed as a hold. Sorry, Daniel. Yeah. Hold on the Eagles. Even though we talked about the importance of, of prep chewing up clock, I do like the mix of run and pass that I'm seeing so far from Dustin Etheridge and staff. Yeah. But it looks like uh, Christian did get the ball. They do. They do have it, despite the flag. And there's a short run. It's Morgan Biedenbaugh on the carry, pass midfield. And Fernandez and company in on the stop. Yeah, nice, Second down for nice by HHCA. Again, a bit of a breeze blowing, about seven miles an hour. As scrambling around is Clark. He's going to fire on the sideline. It is caught. In bounds, I'm not sure. They say it is, and it's Gage Zadalokan making the catch. Yeah, Ron Peduzzi had told us, you know, of the players to watch, Zadalokan is certainly one of those. Yeah, for sure. probably their premier receiver. And I, I love this pro style set offense that uh, Christian runs. And uh, clearly, Clark has shown that. He can be the general and, and really get that ball out to different players because he's got a lot of playmakers out there on the edges. Here's Clark. He's scrambling to his right. He's not one to really run much, but his pass complete as he got out of the pocket ever so slightly. And he finds number 11, A.J. Haupt, the son of John Haupt, who, as we know, was the longtime head coach at Bluffton High. He's the strength and conditioning coach here. That's an Eagle first down and a Kevin M. Severe of State Farm first down. 57 seconds to go and a 13-0 lead for HHCA. Christian Academy looking to head towards the end zone. There's a fake and there's a flag and there's a rollout and a toss out of bounds all by one Dylan Clark. We'll check up on the penalty. It's a hold against the offense. Yeah, going back to Coach Howell, good, good to see him here was, this yeah. night. You know, he, he he was with Bluffton for, what, four years? Better, uh, I think a little longer than was that. Was it longer than that? I believe so. I'll, I'll look that up at the break. Yeah, great great coaching staff on, on for, for both teams, but uh, Howell is, 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 uh, joins uh, Garrick Taylor, who runs the defense here, uh, Jimmy, Jimmy Taylor, offensive line. Um, Matt Smith on the defense. Matt Smith, yeah, it's a strong coaching staff. One thing that you'll see if you haven't already is the interview that Jessa Jeremiah did earlier. There's a run, and it's to the 
22 yard line. We've got twins battling on both sides as Jay and Keegan Thine or Thien uh, are coaching up against each other. Two seconds. And that'll be the end of the first quarter. 13-0 HHCA is their driving. We go to the second quarter of the Cross Island Bowl next on WHHI Sports TV. Hi, I'm Bruce Wood, managing partner of Hilton Head Capital Partners. And I'm here to be part of your fun high school football season. It's a great time. But the game begins with the coin toss, and that's what I like to see first. So let's have a fun time. Let's all play safe. Let's enjoy our teams. And please, don't drink and drive. Your parents want you around for a while. So enjoy the game and enjoy the season. Have you joined the Express Comfort Club from Summit Services Heating and Air? It's the ultimate way to keep your cool. Membership is free and includes discounts on routine maintenance, 15% discount on all repairs, three-year parts and labor warranty, no overtime charges, plus other benefits. Your comfort is just a call away. To sign up for Express Comfort Club, call 843-836-2653. Hi, I'm Beth Drake. As your local realtor, I am proud to support our local sports. If you're considering buying or selling a home, you want an experienced agent who knows the local market and how to get you the best price. In the past 10 years, I've helped over 700 buyers and sellers achieve their real estate goals. From staging and marketing your property to assisting you in finding the home of your dreams, I would love to help you as well. Call me at 843-422-7500. fun point in our evening where we get to award a community leader and honestly this award could go to the whole family this is so fun this is Abby Paduzzi who is joining us of course dad is out on the field head coach Ron and uh, you not only are a senior here but you brother graduated from Hilton Head Christian Academy tell us tonight what you're doing this evening yeah, so tonight I'm the water girl, or we call it the hydration specialist, and we just provide water for the football team and travel to the away games with them. It's kind of like a manager job. Yeah, lots of fun uh, watching you all get them hydrated and support them here on the field tonight. Uh, an athlete yourself, though, I understand you're a six-time state champion. Let's talk a little bit about volleyball and what you plan to do next year. Next year I plan to attend UNC Pembroke in North Carolina on a volleyball scholarship and I'm really looking forward to that and just what that will bring next year and looking forward to it. Okay, and where's brother John right now? John is at Washington and Jefferson in Pittsburgh. So, And I think mom's at work and actually, like I said, it's a whole family is involved here in, in Hilton Head Christian Academy. Tonight the award is going to Janet Paduzzi because I understand next year is going to mark 25 years uh, working for the Hilton Head Island Fire Department. Checking my notes, she's a captain at Station 2 in Sea Pines. So the whole family is so impressive. It's fun to be able to give mom an award tonight and Abby is going to accept on her behalf so thanks to uh, your mom and this is on behalf of the folks at Beth Drake Realty we're gonna uh, award her with the community leader award so thanks for taking some time with us and bringing that award home for her thank you all right and we're gonna get you right into the game we welcome you back here to the Cross Island Bowl we have info on Lancel Daly a separated shoulder so he's having a little bit of mobility issues with his arm. There's a pitch to the outside. It's a little reverse pitch. And going across the field to about the five yard line is HHCA. And that's a heck of a run there for HHCA's number 11, AJ Hopped. We just talked about his dad. And AJ with a big run there to start this second quarter. 11.47 to go and the wind is a whipping. That's a first down brought to you by Kevin M. Severe of State Farm. And here's a 
bursting run up the middle. That hole taken by Biedenbaugh. That's a touchdown. Nothing but the end zone for Morgan Biedenbaugh right there. As it is now 19-0. You wonder if HHCA is going to try just for one. It looks like that's what they're saying. They're going to go for the extra point. Yeah, the, the, the Eagles could have driven their team bus through that hole. The yeah. offensive line is quick. They're aggressive and uh, really creating a lot of space for these running backs and giving Dylan Clark plenty of time. 19-0, the PAT splits the uprights perfectly. 20 to nothing, HHCA over HHP. We'll be back with more of the Cross Island Bowl next on WHHI Sports TV. Hi, I'm Mike Zachman, broker at Keller Williams Realty. I've maintained a successful business model through multiple market shifts over time. I know this market and I know real estate. Serving 22 years in the Navy as a Navy diver, combined with a lifetime of boating on the coast, have enabled me to know the waterways that are an integral part of the Lowcountry lifestyle. Whether you're buying or selling, myself and my team can help you navigate the coastal South Carolina real estate market. Give us a call. Not everyone starts their day at the same time or in the same way. But no matter when or how, your local Touchstone Energy Cooperative is there to help you power every moment of it in countless ways. Because whenever it starts, one thing is certain. We never stop. Palmetto Electric Cooperative, your source for power and information. As a business owner, local service is important to me. I want to work with companies that know me, know my business, and are here when I need them. Pay Proudly's team listened to me and developed a custom solution that saved significant amount of money and made our process to accept payments easier. But what makes working with Pay Proudly even more meaningful is that they genuinely care. They contribute a percentage of fees collected to local charities that are important to me at no additional cost. We are Pay Proudly. We welcome you back to the Cross Island Bowl. 20 to nothing in favor of Hilton Head Prep. And I mentioned that there were some scary good players to look out for in this Halloween edition of high school football, being that Halloween is on Monday. And another flag as that kick goes in the end zone. It looked awfully close to hitting the pylon and staying in bounds. It may have gone out of bounds around the one or two. It did, yeah. Okay, so that, that'll be the flag. And Hilton Head Prep's gonna get good field position out of this. But right now, the best player on the field looks to me, I mean, obviously well, uh, well Sharp has done some great stuff, but Dylan Clark, yeah, the way he's commanding this football team on offense, Hey, he, he looks like a, a different level quarterback out there, doesn't he? Yeah. Very, very poised, uh, extremely athletic. Talking about Dylan Clark, listen to these numbers. You're talking about scary. So he's got uh, 17, uh, over 1,700 yards passing this season, 191 per game. 1719 to be exact. 1719 to be exact with 19 touchdowns to only seven interceptions. Wow. Uh, he can also run the ball, Marcus. He's had 163 carries for 574 yards okay. and nine rushing touchdowns. Okay. Those are gaudy numbers for a young quarterback. That's scary. That is scary. It's almost as if uh, the opponents have seen a ghost. <laughs> there's, well, a, there's a short run. Well, He just goes right by him. Yeah, no, I mean, he, 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 he he looks good on film, yeah. but being out here and seeing a player in person, Ooh. live, there's a difference. He's, he's obviously good size, great mobility, but I, I just like his poise back there. Um, you know, a, a, a truly upper level quarterback always keeps his eyes downfield, and that's what I'm seeing from Clark so far. Typically we make, and I'm just thinking of this as you're analyzing it, as the pass, a little screenshot is caught by number four. That's a... Harlbar making the catch. And typically we compare to college players or to NFL players. Yep. But in seeing him in person for the first time ever and the limited amount I've seen him on film, Dylan Clark, his arm reminds me of Mad Max Von Hohens, Mad mm -hmm. Max Von Hohenstraten. Yeah. And his legs, based off the numbers you just gave, remind me of uh, Christian Tilton. Yeah, wow. 
That's a that's quite a combination, that's, isn't it? That is a dual threat quarterback if I've ever seen one. Well, and Tilton's arguably in the best area. running quarterback oh. we've seen, and, and Von Hohenstraten the best passing quarterback we've seen. Harmer so. throws incomplete. That's that's quite a comparison to make. And you know, listen, I mean, you, you know, you're you're stepping in to fill the shoes of Jace Blackshear, who is talking uh, about the great quarterbacks here he, at Christian Academy. He goes He's right one there. Of them. Yeah, certainly at Christian Academy, but we've talked about Ahmad Green. We, we talked about some of the other guys that we've seen and that I've seen over the years. Caden Lewis, uh, Luke Sergo. I mean, they have had some even, great quarterbacks. Even going back as far in the uh, low country as Frazier, C.J. Frazier yes. in Bluffton back in the day. That was right around the time I got here. Oh, by the way, Ridgeland got their first win last week, and they're playoff they're bound. They're making the really? playoffs. Hopefully they can get another win here tonight as the punt is high and deep, and it's going to bound all the way down to the 15, maybe the 16-yard line. But, yeah, they're playoff bound with that one win. So congrats to Rodney Barr. That's great news and, for that team. And the entire team, Maurice Brown, C.J. Frazier, all the guys. Uh, Plowden is a big player on that team. Um, they had a couple other Browns that, that were really good, and they, they played well. I had talked to Larry. There are similarities I see with that team and this Hilton Head prep team. Both very young coaches yes. are working their way through. Got some growing pains, but they're they're going to give it everything they've got. They're going to they're going to fight. They're going to scrap a claw, and they're going to be like the werewolf out in the middle of the night, <laughs> scaring opponents. You're going to stick with the I'm, Halloween. I'm going to stick with Halloween you? themed commentary all night. I have a feeling, and and that's great to see. For, uh, for teams like that. As Clark, hello, he's going deep, and it is caught, wow. I believe! What a grab in traffic! In between two defenders. A State Farm of a uh, Kevin Severe of State Farm, not a State Farm of Kevin Severe, but a Kevin Severe of State Farm first down in between defenders like cream filling in an Oreo, making the catch and getting to the 36, maybe the 37 yard line, HHCA in business to score again. No matter who sponsors the first downs, that was a great play. It was. Another another dime right on the money from Dylan Clark and a great catch. And here's Clark again, going deep again. It's caught by Biedenbaugh, touchdown. And Marcus, do you see what I'm talking about? I mean, you watch Dylan Clark, as soon as that snap gets into his hands, He's stepping back, getting his feet set, and he's looking downfield. That's what you got to do. I mean, now he's, granted, he's not getting a lot of pressure. The line's doing a great job of protecting him. But, boy, I love the way his head's up and his eyes are downfield, and he is putting it right on the money. What accuracy. What a throw, and what a quick drive. 9.17 to go in the first half. 26-0 HHCA. The point after is good. 27 to nothing, HHCA with the lead. We've got another timeout. We'll be back on WHHI. Life is full of choices, and the choices we make directly affect our quality of life. Our day is much easier when we don't hit the snooze alarm 10 times and show up late for work. We feel better when we eat a well-balanced meal versus running through the drive-through. And when it comes to your comfort at home or in the workplace, the result of hiring a fly-by-night repair guy or award-winning professional is night or day. Life is full of choices. For your home, for your family, for your environment. Make the Superior choice. Call Superior today. This is the mower that cut the lawn that became the place their kids grew up. The legendary Xmark Laser Z is the zero-turn mower more landscape pros trust. For cut quality, comfort, and reliability. Xmark, official mowers of the backyard life. Visit your local dealer or explore the Xmark Laser Z online for special finance offers available now. Imagine how inconvenient your life would be without power. No lights, no refrigeration, no heating or cooling, no electronics. But with a Generac Home Standby Generator, you will have power when you need it most. Generac generators automatically provide backup power after sensing a power outage. So your life goes on uninterrupted. No doubt we're living in uncertain times and many of our loved ones are spending more time at home. Selectric will have you prepared when the power goes out. Selectric, done right now. 
We welcome you back. 27 to nothing. Oh, by the way, folks, Jeremy Pope and us are talking, or Jeremy Pope and us, I guess I said that right, we're talking NFL action during the break. A lot of crazy things going on in that league right now. Yeah, you think Tampa uh, Bay going down again. I was going to say, uh, what is that, four, four of the last five they've lost? Yeah, I think so. Do you think that has anything to do with the Tom Brady divorce? That whole thing's just a mess with that team right now. And unfortunately, I don't see it getting any better anytime soon for Tampa Bay fans. 9.17 to go. First down and 10, Hilton Head Prep. I mentioned it, uh, Hilton Head Prep with the football. They are trailing 27 to nothing. And I mentioned it to you at the break. There's one key and one key only right now for Hilton Head Prep, and that's keeping the Christian Academy offense off the field. Yes, they do. And uh, unfortunately, they can't get enough space in the running game, and their star ru uh, running back is out, Lonsell yeah. Daly. So they've got to go to the air some. Here's Will Henry Alford. He's given a heck of an effort. And they Will can't, Henry Alford gets a couple. Yeah, they can't be a one-trick pony. Uh, the, the Eagle defense is just too too fast and too aggressive. And, and if you if you get one-dimensional, they're going to be able to key in on everything that you're doing. And, and Harmer's shown that he can throw the ball. He's got some receivers out there that can catch. So they've got to keep a balance. But as you said, Marcus, they've got to get first downs and keep churning some cock, clock to keep this somewhat respectable. 8.50 to go. After this play, we'll hear from Beth Drake and O.C. Welch Ford. Give Daniel a little double duty on the read, a, a double play on the reads, if you will. There's a run up the middle, and it's Will Henry Alford getting a couple, but a few Christian Academy Eagles flocking there to make the tackle. Yeah, I always like to do a, a read for my good friend and colleague, Beth Drake. So if you're looking to buy some real estate, but whether buying or selling, call Beth. She is your experienced local realtor with Keller Williams. And if you're looking for a Ford or any other great car, go see O.C. Welch today for a great car buying experience. Can I get just one O.C.C.C.C. out of you? O.C.C.C.C. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> Third down and six. Harmer fires, that is incomplete. He had the right thought of going to number nine. And yeah. That is uh, Brady Hauser. Got a Brody flag Hauser. on the play here. Okay. Morgan Biedenbaugh, Morgan Biedenbaugh rather with the breakup. Penalty will be declined, making it four and six for the Dolphins. Fourth down and six for Prep. They're down 27 nothing with 744 remaining in the first half. And they're going to be punting it away. It's high and it's fairly deep. It's actually not nearly as deep as I thought. It must have just been really high. It bounds down at the 49 yard line. 7.33 remaining in quarter number two. A reminder coming up as we may have a flag, or was it picked up? I think it was picked up. Coming up at the half, we've got the Stokes Toyota of Buford halftime report. Daniel and I will have our thoughts. We'll hear from Jessica Surrett and Michael Lynn over at Stokes Toyota of Buford. Jessica and Michael have done a great job giving you all the info of stuff that's going on at Stokes Toyota. And We'll have a whole lot more. We may even have some footage of some stuff going on here at Senior Night at Halftime. All that coming up on the Stokes Toyota Halftime Report. Stokes Toyota of Beaufort. I'm going to say the fine and friendly folks at Stokes. I think it's the friendly folks at Stokes. Am I correct, Jessa? Friend, friendly folks at Stokes? Fine and friendly is just as good, maybe even better. I, I figured Jessa or Jessica Surrett would know better than I. <laughs> Well, and uh, we certainly appreciate everything that Michael Lynn and Jessica Surratt have done with that, getting that info for you guys at halftime this season. 6.57 to play in the first half. You got number nine, Harry Cunningham back there, the sophomore taking the snaps right now. He the uh, Wildcat position. He actually threw a couple of touchdowns in a game a few weeks ago in which Hilton Head Christian Academy had a bunch of touchdowns. I think he threw three. 
And Dylan Clark threw five. Wow. For a total of eight to eight different receivers. We talked about gaudy numbers. Yeah. Well, it There's looks like what Ron Aaron. Paduzzi and staff are doing here is getting some of their younger players in. Again, you don't want to risk injury going into playoff season. That's Lucas Gates able to get a couple as Gunnar Bonomo and Anders Asklin with the uh, stop there. 6.09 remaining in the quarter. And here's a pass to the left side. It is complete to number 11, A.J. Haupt. And I have one word written next to A.J. Haupt as that's a Kevin Severe of State Farm first down, a Kevin M. Severe of State Farm first down. And that is solid. The guy's just solid. And, and I was thinking earlier, talking about his dad being here. John Haupt, outside of being head coach, I can't think of a better title for him. Strength and conditioning coach. Yeah, no. As that passes, I B believe, a little bit low. Big Daddy's solid, isn't he? He is. Sol solid character and a solid guy. And that is a catch, a gain of six. And we've got a timeout. We'll take it as well. Be back with 5.35 to go in the first half. 27-0 HHCA in the Cross Island Bowl. Back in a moment on WHHI Sports TV. In life, some things just go together, like a burger and fries. And home and auto insurance from State Farm. So make it a combo. Combining your home and auto insurance could save you time and money. And who doesn't like that? Just call State Farm agent Kevin Severe and find out how you can start saving today. It's just another way we're here to help life go right. Have you joined the Express Comfort Club from Summit Services Heating and Air? It's the ultimate way to keep your cool. Membership is free and includes discounts on routine maintenance, 15% discount on all repairs, three-year parts and labor warranty, no overtime charges, plus other benefits. Your comfort is just a call away. To sign up for Express Comfort Club, call 843-836-2653. Taking a break here at an already active game here at Hilton Head Christian Academy. Thanks to our sponsors over at Consolidated Planning. Right now, joined by Doug and Neely Langhouse. Thanks for taking a minute with us. Tell us a little bit about what you do here at HHCA. Thank you for having us. So I'm a spiritual life mentor, part of the spiritual life team. And I get the uh, privilege of being the head of school. Both very important titles and what you do here is great. Uh, talk to us a little bit about this program that you're putting out for parents because you all do so much to make sure that the students and the mentors are really focused on God and their programs there, but parents do. It's important stuff. Yeah, so Life Plus is the name of the ministry, and the vision behind Life Plus is just to be able to equip parents to carry on what we're doing at school. So to help them know how to continue Christian values and morals, to continue being grounded in the biblical truth, and how to have a biblical worldview and all that you do, especially in raising your kids. So how does that play a role, do you think, in terms of the students' education here? I mean, parents really getting involved is important. It has to have an impact on students. Yeah, a big part for us is our school is all about relationships. It's about the culture. And what we want to be able to do is not just mentor our students. We want to be able to engage parents so that they're a part of everything that's going on. And so this piece is incredibly critical for us because obviously as a Christian school, we want to point our students to Christ and we want to see that continue on in every facet of their life at home as well. Absolutely. Well, great work, and thanks for taking some time with us here at the game. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and we'll get you back to that game right now. We've got a little mini Larry Giacomo with us and Jeremy Pope giving us some numbers during the break, 5.35 to go. And a reminder that at Hilton Head Capital Partners, they navigate you to financial freedom. 5.35 to go. Trying to do my best Kevin Libby impression. Going to see Kev here in a few days, and uh, we're going to have basketball for you here on WHHI Sports TV before too long. Looking forward to that. As there's a pass, and it is caught. A little screen pass to the outside. I believe that's number 15, Gage Zadalokin, with the catch it is. And Harry Cunningham, again, at quarterback, 
firing that screen shot. And a nice play by Gage Zadalokan. And Sean Graham with the tackle. 5.25 to go, another Kevin M. Sevier of State Farm first down. So Hilton Head Prep, again, coming in winless. Haven't won in the region yet, obviously. And just two losses in the region for HHCA, being that they've got three overall and a 6-3 and three record. And that pass a little bit too high for anybody. You yeah, want to give a quick shout out to a couple players who are the sons of some really good friends of mine. Uh, number 52, the left offensive tackle for the Christian Academy Eagles, Ben Adkins, uh, the son of James Adkins of Court Adkins. And number 19, we mentioned the freshman kicker, Cole Lindstedt, uh, son of Ryan Lindstedt and Christina Soldo. And uh, Paulie Smith for Hilton Head Prep, uh, freshman offensive lineman, number 50. Rolling. Uh, son of Susan Smith. Rolling around is Cunningham. He gains a couple. I got to meet Ryan for the first time. I've, I've seen him. The sea bass. More, He's legendary in these parts. More times than I can think of on Hilton Head at the uh, Hilton Head Beach and Tennis Resort and their sports bar. Um, and, and I actually got to meet him for the first time. And the two of you go back a little ways. We right? go way back. Yeah. That, the, uh, go back to the days of Indigo Run. When I came here in 96, we all worked together. He and Scotty Hammett, whose wife Debbie works at Christian Academy. So it's like homecoming here for me. Oh boy, down goes Cunningham by three defenders. Let's see, number 79 was one of them. Jake Sheehan was another, that's 22. And there was another one as well in on the play. So you met Ryan for the first time in 96. That was actually the first time I visited Hilton Head. It was 1996. Wow. Any idea that Fell you- Fell in love with the crazy you'd, place. You'd make it your, your permanent home? At, in 1996, 97, even in 2000, I thought I'd be living in Canton, Ohio my entire life. Well. There's a pass in. Now you're, now you're living the dream, partner. Look, look at you. I get to sit, sit down here and call high school football in one of the most beautiful places in the country. Definitely not, not a bad fortunate gig, for is sure. It? No, I, I love it. I love it. Well, it's a, it's a real honor and a pleasure to be able to sit here with you and be a part likewise, of this WHHI friend, Sports TV and Jeremy Pope and, and our uh, Jesse Jeremiah. Maria Soden, the, the wizard, Larry Giacomo. I mean, what a... Our interns are our coming in, right through. Interns, you know, Justin Williams doing a great Chris job Anderson. as Christopher Sanders. I got to know Christopher. Gosh, and he's right around here. It's been almost a year now before too long. Hey, he's right behind us, isn't yeah. he? Yeah. Checking the, the monitor out. 3.40 to go. Lisa Richardson's always a delight to work with and great to have <laughs> as well. And here's a run... To the outside, she heard that I mentioned her. 3.30 to go. 21, yeah, Lisa's a huge part of our team, too. She was down there with Bob Stevens calling the CJ Cup yeah, last week. And, and you had a lot of action in there as well. I did, boy. And Lisa, you know, supports these teams a lot with what she does with FCA, the South Coastal That's FCA right. as well, which is great work. And uh, great work. Great, great stuff on her part for sure. 3.05 remaining in the first half. 27 to nothing. Certainly want to thank Wayne Morris, Dave Stribling, the great John Byrne, uh, our folks from the uh, digital world. I almost said technological world, but I was looking for digital. Zach Washburn and Latia Nelson as there's a pass complete. Gunner Bonomo. 40 yard line as Gunner Bonomo does make. Gunner Bonomo does make the catch. I didn't quite get it out clear enough that time. Our, our great sales staff and Marty Student, Susan Green, Jessica Kirk, the leader of the sales staff. I mentioned her a few minutes ago. I'll do it again. And Jessica Surrett. And then all the folks here, we've got our anchors, Robin Zimmerman, Betsy McDaniel, Bob Stevens, that do great work on the, and Allie McNair as well, doing great work with the WHHI Daily News. Now, if, and, now uh, if you, you, great stuff. If you've forgotten anybody, you're going to be on the hook, buddy. I uh, <laughs> I will say to Maria Soden doing double duty as she does a fine job with the weather on those broadcasts as well to the 40-yard line. A short run for Will Henry Alford. 
Well, you talk about we talk about these 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 schools and their and their athletic programs. You know about being tradition and culture. Well, we, Wayne Morris, John Byrne have certainly built a, a real culture and oh yeah, and a, a, a tradition of excellence there at WHHI. What a, what a, what a team! And uh, again, it's just great to be sitting here and be part of it. Absolutely. Well, here, Marcus, you know, getting back to the game, you know, it, with 143 left, if Prep can somehow put together a drive and get in the end zone, just at least to create make it create some make it kind exciting, of momentum and excitement. A little bit, yeah, reasonable heading in or uh, manageable heading into the second half. There's a botch snap and a pass that is incomplete, intended for number 11. That's Sean Graham. And, I, and I'd like to say, you know, we, we've been talking about, you know, singing the praises of Dylan Clark and, and some of the great playmakers there at receiver for Christian Academy. But the best I can remember, every one of those great pass plays was really well contested by the prep defenders. It's, yeah. not, it's not like they fell down they or the they guys were shots. wide open. The, the defense has they, been they playing easy. good assignment football. Yeah. Um, the prep players are just making great plays. And again, that Clark kid puts it on the money. He does. One minute, 22 seconds to go in the first half. Here of the Cross Island Bowl on WHHI Sports TV. Marcus Walsh, Daniel Court, the rest of our crew with you. We've got a pay proudly flag. Reminder, coming up, we will have the player of the game. And that is brought to you, the MVP presentation, brought to you by Island Tire and Auto the longest serving tire retailer and auto repairer on Hilton Head and Island tradition. And we'll have the play of the game brought to you by Selectric, your Power Pro Elite Generac dealer in the low country done right now. Low snap corralled by the quarterback Harmer and his pass is incomplete. And then a little bit of shoving uh -oh. as Big getting, Daddy Scarpa. getting shoved to the ground was one number 21, Will Henry Alford by Big Daddy Matt Scarpa. And multiple flags on the play. Will, you know, right there, I get it. Football's a, a physical sport. It's a physical game. But uh, sometimes you just got to know when to pull up and harness that energy and not make unnecessary penalties. <laughs> right, That was pre yeah. pretty obvious, and he did it right in front of the referee. That's uh, that's unfortunate. Well, you know, and, and again, for a coach who's preparing a team to go on a on a what 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 they hope and uh, and should be a deep playoff run, th these are the kinds of games that you know should be like uh, play practices. You know, they they it's about execution, it's about exerting disciplines, uh, staying committed to your assignments, and um, you know, trying to play good fundamental football because. It's going to count here in a couple weeks. And that's something that Ron Peduzzi preaches. And he mentioned, you know, as good as we played, as good as the numbers look, we have to play disciplined, good assignment football as the wind continues to whip a bit. And that is the antithesis of good assignment, good disciplined football. Right. Yeah, and it's kind of the, the kind of things that drive coaches crazy. If you as Harmer drops back, goes Harmer, throw it deep, and this is going to be... Oh, he got it. A catch, I do believe, with three or four guys in front of him. What a catch. And a heck That's of a Graham. grab by number 11, Sean Graham. Wow. HHP Sean, about to head into the end sugar zone. Sugar Graham. That was sweet sugar there. Hey, maybe he had, what, three defenders? Maybe even four. It wow. looked to me like there was four. They were blocking him in a box. Please tell me this isn't coming back. I see uh, oh, our no. referee picking it up. Oh goodness! This just seems like to be a to be a bad dream that just repeats itself. We saw this all week last week. Holding on the offense, oh, ten guys. yards from the spot let of them, the foul. Let let a poor team play. Let them play. <laughs> Oh, I don't, you, I don't. I don't like to badger officials. I, I really don't. But you know, sometimes you know, especially in a game like this, um, let the guys play a little bit. You mentioned <laughs> Sugar Graham. I have to. I have to say this story, and there could be a chance if I post this on Facebook, he'll see it. I went to a to school from the time I was yay high to high school with a guy named Evan Graham, and I was in high school. We were in our junior year of high school. Is 
Harmer going deep again. This one's picked off at the 29 yard line, intended for Sean Graham and picked off. And, and we had a substitute teacher, like an adjunct, if you will, a student teacher that was teaching us for a semester. He was asking everybody's name and how it was spelled. And he says, Graham, I always called Evan by Graham. And, he, and Evan says, I'm here. He says, how do you spell that? And Evan just point blank had me about falling out of my chair. He says, like Graham Cracker, man. <laughs> Classic Evan Graham line. Uh, how else do you spell Evan, it? Evan is uh, in the Charlotte area, I believe. If, if he watches this at some point later, Evan, I hope all's well, buddy. Rolling around, throwing. That's a little bit tardy and incomplete. Well, we just talking about earlier about penalties that follow big plays and and for prep a team that's just been you know back on their heels all season with injuries and 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 youth you know to make a yeah. big play like that late in the half we were we were saying if they could just get it in the end zone which they had a good shot at but boy it just it's totally demoralizing to a team and a coaching staff to go through that Clark fires oh There's my that was Gonzo. nearly Lonsell Daly he's he's in that nearly picked that off, and it looked like it hit him maybe yeah, on the left arm. He's favoring that arm. I don't know if we got a report of which shoulder it was. I, I haven't didn't. heard anything. I think Jeremy is checking in with Larry on that as I speak. But if it was the left shoulder, yeah, that may jar it a little bit. Well, they may have him just playing back there in center field just yeah. to try to do what he's doing there and not up the middle, here's a big run for HHCA. Across the 50, down the sideline. Kevin M. Sevier of State Farm, first down for number 30. That is Lucas, Lucas Gates. Gates, freshman, 5'6", a buck 25. Boy, he showed a good burst of speed there, didn't he? He certainly did. Yeah, that's gonna that's, be our last play, I think. That's Marcus. one thing I noticed is we're down to two and one. There's some light guys on this HHCA team. Boy, they play with fire. That's the end of the first half. 27-0 HHCA with the lead of the Cross Island Bowl. We've got the Stokes of Toyota, half, or the Stokes Toyota of Buford halftime report coming up right after this on WHHI Sports TV. Hi, I'm Chip Welch with OC Welch Ford. Come pick out your brand new 2022 Expedition or Explorer with over 50 to choose from. With interest rates as low as 1.9%, call or come see me today at OC Welch Ford in Hardyville, South Carolina. Let casual living, fireside and grilling inspire your outdoor style. Stop by and shop our 15,000 square foot showroom for the perfect patio furniture, fire pits, umbrellas, grills, outdoor kitchens and more. We're here to help turn your outdoor space into a haven of luxury and style. We offer delivery and setup. We're the only company that services what we sell. Please come by as we love during your business. Casual As a business owner, local service is important to me. I want to work with companies that know me, know my business, and are here when I need them. We have used several different credit card processing companies in the past until I found Pay Proudly. Pay Proudly's team listened to me and developed a custom solution that saved significant amount of money and made our process to accept payments easier. They are always ready and available to speak with me when I call. But what makes working with Pay Proudly even more meaningful is that they genuinely care. They contribute a percentage of fees collected to local charities that are important to me at no additional cost. I'm proud to be working with Pay Proudly and making the Low Country and the world a better place together. We are Pay Proudly. We connect people to their work, to their families, to all things essential. That's why your Touchstone Energy Cooperative is here every day, making life easier in all the ways that matter. And of all the connections we make, we know none are more powerful than the human connection. Palmetto Electric Cooperative, your source for power and information. 
Have you joined the Express Comfort Club from Summit Services Heating and Air? It's the ultimate way to keep your cool. Membership is free and includes discounts on routine maintenance, 15% discount on all repairs, three-year parts and labor warranty, no overtime charges, plus other benefits. Your comfort is just a call away. To sign up for Express Comfort Club, call 843-836-2653. Welcome into the Stokes Toyota of Buford halftime show. Marcus Walsh, Daniel Court. We've got Justin Williams with us here on the field and the rest of our WHHI crew with you. And we were talking about some scary players, which we've seen on both these teams. Nothing scarier so far than the dynamic duo of one uh, Dylan Clark and Wells Sharp in this first half. Yeah, they've been quite a combo the the touchdown pass which we think is was around 60 some yards yeah. was great defense by the prep uh, secondary and sharp just goes and snatches it out of the air we talk about high pointing balls right. the ability to catch a ball but clark all the the entire first half was throwing into double coverage in a lot of cases and his receivers were just making plays but they can't make plays if the ball's not right on the money. Right. Dylan Clark, as everything is advertised, again, falls in a long line of great quarterbacks that have played at Christian Academy. But if they really think, you know, right now at 27 to nothing, this needs to be a, a, a preparation type game for Christian as they move into their playoff run. And for for prep, it's, it's just painful to watch because you've got a team that's really young and really injured. Their star player, Lonsell Daly, out with a separated shoulder. So, you know, for them, it's just play with pride, play with energy, and play to have fun. Play prep football. Yeah. And, and they're trying to do that. You know, we saw them against JP2, and it was a lot of the same where they made some big plays. They, they shot themselves in the foot in that game quite a bit with yeah. a few things. The penalties are hurting them a little bit as well. They've just got to continue to grind it out. You know, we talked about if they could get something going to score some touchdowns. They've been close. They haven't done it yet. But we'll see what they do here in the second half. The main thing on offense, in my mind, for prep is that they've got to control the clock and really slow things down to keep this prolific offense off the field. And yeah, that really, we've talked about it, that really is the only real defense they have to stop this offense is time of possession, yeah. stay on the field. Dustin Etheridge, we've talked about this. He knows he's got a young team. He yep. knows he's got a big challenge in front of him. But he's building a culture. He's building this program back up. And that takes a while. For, for Christian Academy, it's more of the same. You know, we're we're here at their new campus, their new beautiful campus in Bluffton. Yeah. They've got a full stands. They've got senior night going on. Great. This is This is a tradition that's been going on for quite some time, and Ron Paduzzi's doing nothing to squelch the legend, which is becoming uh, Hilton Head Christian Eagle football. There's no question about it. That'll do it for us and our thoughts here at the half. When we come back, Jessica Surrett is with Michael Lynn at Stokes Toyota of Beaufort, the fine and friendly folks at Stokes. She has some info with Michael on what you can expect there at Stokes Toyota of Beaufort. May have some footage for you as well. A whole lot more of the Cross Island Bowl coming up right after you see this on WHHI Sports TV. The third quarter, right around the corner here at the Cross Island Bowl. We'll be back right after this timeout. Life is full of choices, and the choices we make directly affect our quality of life. Our day is much easier when we don't hit the snooze alarm 10 times and show up late for work. We feel better when we eat a well-balanced meal versus running through the drive through And when it comes to your comfort at home or in the workplace, the result of hiring a fly-by-night repair guy or award-winning professional is night or day. Life is full of choices. For your home, for your family, for your environment. Make the superior choice. Call Superior today. Elsewhere's in Old Town, the Low Country's only veteran-owned sports memorabilia and retail gift shop. Located in the heart of Old Town, Bluffton, where there's something for everyone. From truffles and coffee to lotion, scents, and local honey. Kids puzzles, stickers, books, and more. Come on in and see what's in our store. Of course, our passion is sports cards and memorabilia, where we buy and sell collections daily. So when in doubt, don't throw them out. Come in and let us help you out.
Hey, this is Michael Lynn with Stokes Toyota in Buford. I'm the general manager here with your drive of the week. And today we're interviewing uh, the Swiss Army Knife at WHHI. Uh, Miss Jessica, how are you doing today? I'm doing fantastic, thank you. Good, good. Uh, I just want to talk a little bit about the fun that we have here at, at Stokes Toyota in Buford. And um, you had said earlier that you were going to trade your vehicle in with me today. Is that correct? <laughs> well, I, I said in the near future. <laughs> the very near future. Uh, how do you feel about um, being interviewed by, is, is the glare on my head messing with you today? No, I think it's fantastic. <laughs> okay, great, great. Um, how, how are you doing today? Come here, let me. How are you doing today? I'm doing all right. I'm okay, all right. good, good, good. Um, I just want to, you know, talk to the people about how much fun we have here at the dealership. You've, you've been here a few times. What do you think about the atmosphere and, and that we have here at the dealership? I think it is a super fun atmosphere. The culture is fantastic. So if you're coming to Stokes for work, that's the kind of work culture you want to come to every day. And if you're come, coming to buy a car, trade in a car, like these are the folks you want to work with. They're friendly, they're honest, and this is where you want to come to, so. Well, thank you, Jessica. Uh, all jokes aside, uh, one, we do love to have fun, but the most fun that we have here is, is saving you money. Uh, giving you a great experience. Again, we don't sell over sticker. We don't have a market adjustments. We don't have addendums. Um, we just believe that taking care of our customers takes care of us. Um, so if there's anything we can ever do for you guys, this has been a blessing for us to be a part of supporting our community and partnering with Jessica at WHHI. Um, I look forward to that for, for years to come. And just please reach out to us. Let us know what we can do to help. And, and we'd love to uh, love to partner with you. Do you have anything else you'd like to add? Hey, the pleasure's been ours. It's been it's been great. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Carissa Niehoff, CEO of the National Federation of State High School Associations. Bad behavior by parents and other fans at high school sporting events is out of control. And the NFHS has declared that enough is enough. We've seen fans coming out of the stands to attack referees and parents yelling obscenities at officials and fans tracking down officials after games to hurl insults and even physical objects on occasion. This kind of unacceptable behavior continues to drive away men and women from serving as officials. Understandably, why would anyone who is trying to do their best to help high school students participate in sports want to be yelled at, or worse yet, assaulted? Can you imagine trying to do your job on a daily basis while someone continues to verbally insult you? To help fans at their age, the NFHS has started a nationwide campaign entitled Bench Bad Behavior. The goal is to put this bad behavior on the bench. Toolkits are available for schools to download materials to proactively address bad behavior at high school athletic events. We want officials to be respected so that sports can continue to be a part of our nation's schools. Right now, Games are being canceled because of a critical shortage of officials. And the main reason for this nationwide shortage is people are behaving horribly at high school sporting events. This must stop. Coaches, parents, and others attending high school games, it is time to step up your game. Let the officials do their job so that the millions of high school student athletes can play their sports. Be a true fan and not a fanatic and be respectful of those individuals working as high school officials. Let's turn this negative behavior into a more positive direction for the future of high school sports in our country. Let's have our excitement fuel enjoyment of sports, especially for our kids. We've got one more little break here on the sideline for you. You have to catch up with Athletic Director Jason Grunkmeyer, who is joining us. Nice to see you out here on a great night. Thanks for taking a minute with us. Yeah, it is a beautiful night, and uh, I'm glad for you guys to be here to, to be at our campus. It's great. It's a fun night for football, and you know what? I want to talk a little bit about you as an athletic director. This is your first year as athletic director for Hilton Head Christian Academy. Not your first year here at the school, though, but how are things going? It's good. I mean, it's anytime you... Or in a new role, I think there's um, 
you know, a little bit of an adjustment period, and I would say that's been the case for me. But um, I was fortunate enough to be here last year in a role uh, within athletics, so um, I got a chance to get a, get my feet wet a little bit with the way things work here, and so that was helpful uh, for sure. And then, um, but it's been going well. You know, I enjoy the role, and um, there's a lot of good things going on here with us. So. Um, I'm just uh, just trying to keep us heading in the right direction. Sounds good. Well, so far so good, and we're going to play some good football here behind us, hopefully. Tell us a little bit about fall sports in general, wrapping up some of them, some still in progress. What's happening? Yeah, so most of our fall sports are done at this point. Uh, our football team obviously is still playing and, and wrapping up their regular season uh, here tonight and I'm um, looking forward to next week where we're uh, going to be hosting a playoff game it looks like so um, you know looking for a, a three-peat in, in, in football for a state championship is our goal there. Cross country team is running tomorrow in the state championship up in Columbia um, but otherwise you know uh, overall a good fall season for us uh, swimming uh, boys finished second in the state. Volleyball had a successful season. Golf, tennis, um, everybody, you know, some, definitely some highlights across the board. So it was a good fall season for us. Actually, we caught up with Jake uh, Ussery earlier, breaking records in swimming as a junior. Impressive stuff. We are heading into some sports coming up here as we look ahead. What are you looking forward to? Any high expectations? Yeah, well, it's it's uh, it's basketball season uh, right around the corner. Practice uh, officially starts on Monday, um, so we'll, both our our boys and girls teams will will get going. And our girls have been you know dominant um, over the last four years. They've uh, four times state champion, and uh, you know we're hopeful uh, to have another strong season. We have a new coach this year, uh, Bobby Thompson, who we're really excited about. And then uh, I'm also our boys coach, so. Um, so last year was a little bit of a rough year for us, but I'm, uh, I'm hopeful for, uh, for a, a good season this year, and I think we got some, some, uh, some good guys that are going to provide some excitement this winter. Well, lots to look forward to. Thanks for taking a minute here, giving us a little bit of a recap and a look ahead. Jason, we appreciate it. We'll get you back to the game. This is the mower that cut the lawn where you laid on your back so a princess could fly. The Xmark Radius will get you on and off the lawn quickly with the signature cut, comfort, and reliability more landscape pros trust. Xmark, official mowers of the backyard life. Visit your local dealer or explore the Xmark Radius online for special finance offers available now. Have you joined the Express Comfort Club from Summit Services Heating and Air? It's the ultimate way to keep your cool. Membership is free and includes discounts on routine maintenance, 15% discount on all repairs, three-year parts and labor warranty, no overtime charges, plus other benefits. Your comfort is just a call away. To sign up for Express Comfort Club, call 843-836-2653. Old Town Golf Cars offers golf car service and sales of all makes and models in the Bluffton and Hilton Head area. We are authorized dealers for Gurria, Tomberlin, Advanced EV, and Royal EV, as well as many others. We have a wide range of golf carts to choose from at the most affordable prices in the area. Call or stop by today to learn more about our inventory. Welcome you back to the Cross Island Bulls second half. 27-0 in favor of HHCA. They'll get the ball. They had a lead of 8-5 in first downs. Hilton had prep with a penalty lead, 7-5. Marcus Walsh, Daniel Court, Larry Jackamoff, the rest of our crew, an onside kick. Why not? You got nothing to lose. Nothing to lose. We talked about that. It reminded me so much of what we saw out of the Super Bowl a handful or two years ago. I guess it was two handful of years ago with Indianapolis playing New Orleans in the onside kick that started the second that's, half. That's right. 
And uh, well, the element so of surprise go. is always, you know, they, they 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 pulled it off with a fake punt in the first half but successfully. Element of surprise is a big part of football. I mentioned, but Don, you got to execute. I mentioned Don Ellison uh, a couple of weeks ago. He and I did games together in 2020. Shout out to Don Ellison. He brought up to me that in 1966, I believe the year was, the pass from Clark is caught by down the sideline. Goes number 15, Gage Zadalouk, and I wanted to make sure I got the name right. He goes out of bounds after a huge Kevin M. Severe of State Farm first down. It was 1966, the year that Notre Dame and Michigan State played to a 10-10 tie. Michigan State played UCLA in the Rose Bowl, and the game started off with an onside kick. Yeah, you don't see those often, do you? No. Element of surprise. Punt, punt Ruski, Clemson, Florida State. What, what year was that? That was, uh, I in think, the, a fumble ruski that, was, that I believe I think Nebraska 90, had in 94 or 95. That pass wide of the mark well, we, that, intended for Zadalokan. That, that gauge Zadalokan, we haven't talked about him much, but he is their leading receiver. Yeah. What a good looking slot tight receiver he is. Great speed, really good hands, knows exactly what to do with the football once he catches it and tucks it. Boy, I tell you, Prep has got a lot of skill on the edges and, and at running back, and that quarterback is something special. Have another play coming up here. Second down and 10. Clark scrambling out of trouble. Scrambling up, throwing one deep, and caught at the five-yard line. Weaving his way to the goal line. Oh. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Touchdown! <laughs> Are Beast you mode. kidding me? Isaiah Anderson. Isaiah Anderson would not go down. Hey, Marcus, I guess that's what you can do when you're 6'4". He's a Jalen Linder size receiver. And Unbelievable. Good hands and clearly strength. That was what an effort. What, what a play by Dylan Clark. I mean, that was, we might have just seen our play of the game, partner. I think I that know, I don't is know how it. you top that. We'll let you know in about an hour or so. Maybe less than that. The extra point up and through. A reminder, TCL, step up. He just missed it to the right. I beg your pardon, it just missed. 33 to nothing in favor of HHCA. We'll be back with more after this on WHHI. I think my biggest fear coming back to college was failure. I had failed before, but TCL really did give me that confidence. The professors really want you to achieve and accomplish your goals. And TCL made coming back to college really easy by making it fun, affordable, and providing that place for us to feel like we can succeed and make it work. I would tell somebody that if they wanted to change their life, that this is what they needed to do. Elsewhere's in Old Town, the Low Country's only veteran-owned sports memorabilia and retail gift shop. Located in the heart of Old Town, Bluffton, where there's something for everyone. From truffles and coffee to lotion, scents, and local honey. Kids puzzles, stickers, books, and more. Come on in and see what's in our store. Of course, our passion is sports cards and memorabilia, where we buy and sell collections daily. So when in doubt, don't throw them out. Come in and let us help you out. Old Town Golf Cars offers golf car service and sales of all makes and models in the Bluffton and Hilton Head area. We are authorized dealers for Gurria, Tomberlin, Advanced EV, and Royal EV, as well as many others. We have a wide range of golf carts to choose from at the most affordable prices in the area. Call or stop by today to learn more about our inventory. We welcome you back. A reminder that Bluffton Builders, our timeout sponsor, is always built with integrity. And want to talk about Luke Goronsky with Consolidated Planning. He's there for local experienced financial planning. Luke Goronsky actually was just talking with Jesse Jeremiah moments ago as the kick is going to bound down to the seven yard line and be taken up the middle. Here is a nice return from Will Henry Alford. And Will Henry Alford gets out to about the 30 yard line. One thing I wanna bring up real quick is the fact that we see some pink around. It is still October and that's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And so, you know, kudos 
to the folks for that. HHCA with a 33-0 lead, but we talked about it during the break, Daniel. Hilton Head Prep not quitting, and that, that makes you want to see them punch a score or two into the end zone here and uh, get, get some positive momentum heading into the offseason. Marcus, my sophomore year, I was on a, a football team that went 0-11, and, and I'll tell you, that was a painful experience, but here's a run to the outside as it's number nine taking it, and that is Hauser, I think. Yes. In continuation of that thought, but in, in looking back, and my, and my mother always said it, and I didn't understand it at the time, and I've had some mentors say this to me too, and it's so true, pain is the greatest teacher. And I, and I said this at, at preps, when prep played John P, JP2 a few weeks ago, they never quit in that football game and they were down the whole game. You know, looking back, sometimes you're gonna win, learn a lot more from your losses and your adversity than you ever are from yep. your wins. And this team, I saw them at halftime, they were still lifting each other up. The coaches were still coaching. That's amazing. This team is barely has enough players to dress out because of injuries. And they're here. And they're here, and they're playing hard. And, and I'm just really impressed with the spirit and the integrity and the character that I see from this young Hilton Head Prep football team. We've got a timeout. We'll be back right after this. It's a Bluffton Builders timeout. More coming up. Hey, are you looking to make living in the low country a little more affordable? Do you have a detached garage just like this one? Well, why not add on to it and make it a passive income opportunity? They call this a carriage house or an accessory dwelling unit or ADU. By building an ADU, you will increase your home's value, have an opportunity to actually make some money, and give someone a high quality home to live in and rent just like this one. My name is Ryan from Bluffton Builders and my goal is to make home ownership more enjoyable through the highest quality craftsmanship, convenience, and communication. To learn more, go to Bluffton.Build forward slash ADU. Hi, I'm Beth Drake. As your local realtor, I am proud to support our local sports. If you're considering buying or selling a home, you want an experienced agent who knows the local market and how to get you the best price. In the past 10 years, I've helped over 700 buyers and sellers achieve their real estate goals. From staging and marketing your property to assisting you in finding the home of your dreams, I would love to help you as well. Call me at 843-422-7500. Living on the coast offers a unique lifestyle, but with that comes the need for a specialized approach to helping protect residents and business owners from year-round winds, high tides, and torrential rain. Since 1850, our family-owned business has been helping friends and neighbors navigate whatever Mother Nature has thrown our way. At CT Lounge, we know coastal insurance. Visit us at ctlounge.com. Let us help you prepare for hurricane season. As we take another break here on the sidelines, we've got to hear from some parents and some folks with the school. It's also nice to hear from some students. This particular student has been very active, not only tonight, but in many ways here at the school. This is Jack Ussery. Thanks for taking a minute with us, Jack. Yes, thank you for having me. So first, I got to know a little bit about your role here tonight because you've been back and forth and up and down and all over the place. What are you doing? Uh, so I'm a flag runner, and basically our job is to uh, keep the student uh, section, which we call the cage, engaged. And we also run flags, so whenever we score a touchdown or score an extra point, we grab our flags and we run and spell out HHCA, and I run the big flag in the back. So it's, it's a bit heavy, but uh, I, I love it. And we help lead the student section through chants and keep them engaged. And it, it's a new thing that we started two years ago, but we've really enjoyed it, and uh, it's, it's been great. Well, it's working, too, because they're pretty engaged over there, having a good time, lots of good cheering happening. Uh, let's talk a little bit about you as an athlete, though. I understand you're a swimmer and individually actually breaking records. <laughs> Tell us about it. Uh, yes, ma'am. So this year we had our uh, Skis of State swim meet, and in that our team uh, placed, I believe, fourth overall. Uh, the guys play second overall, which is super impressive, uh, considering the size of our team uh, based on the other teams that we were competing against. Uh, individually, uh, I was able to uh, set two state records, uh, one in the 200 free and then the other one in the 100 breaststroke, uh, which was you know, awesome to say the least. And our relays, uh, we placed first in both of our relays, which was super impressive. Uh, so, you know, great work with the guys. A lot of them play different sports. Like uh, we have a guy on the team, Well Sharp, gave him a shout out. He, uh, he plays football and swimming and he, uh, he killed it. And we have, a, we have a, another flag runner on the team. And so, you know, 
we all do our part and uh, we did a great job. Well, congratulations on that. Great teamwork and then, you know, great job on those individual accomplishments. So thanks so much for taking some time with us. We'll keep watching you run up and down the field, I have a feeling, and we'll get you all back to the game. 10, 13 to go in the third quarter of the Cross Island Bowl. Right now, all Hilton Head Christian Academy, but prep not given up as there's a short run. Hauser on the carry and Jack Conrad number 75 with the tackle. Marcus you just alluded to a quote from the movie The Replacements. I'd, I'd love for you to share that with our with our viewers. Well you know it was just brought up at the end of the movie right before either the final series or the final play even that Keanu Reeves is getting together with the team. It's going to be their last game. You're going to have all the players that were taken out of the team, the Washington Sentinels, and he looks at him, he says, you know, guys, it's been been a privilege and an honor to be in the trenches and be in the force of battle with you. He says, pride is temporary, uh, rather, pain is temporary and pride is forever. That's exactly what I think about when I think about teams like Ridgeland and Hilton Head Prep, the way they continue to battle and play, and they clearly do not give in until that last whistle blows. And that's, that's what high school football and college football and the NFL really is all about. It truly um, is, yeah. But truly at this level, in, in this area, that's, that's what we see week in and week out, regardless of the final score, the stats of these teams. That's to be commended for sure. Here's a high punt, but very short, although it's gonna take a Hilton Head prep roll, and it's gonna roll all the way down to the 34 and three quarters yard line. That was so 34 and three quarter. That was really well said and, and, and really a, a, a perfect uh, way to para paraphrase uh, what what this uh, Hilton Head Prep football team has been about all season. Jeremy I'm Pope really, is really, on really it. Really proud of them. Jeremy Pope's on it. He just looked up some lines of the movie and he's got another one from Shane Falco. Chicks dig scars, pain is, what was it Jeremy? Chicks dig scars, pain's temporary. Uh, let's see. Pain heals, chicks dig scars, glory lasts forever. Amen. That's beautiful. Amen. Thank you, Jeremy. That's outstanding. <laughs> Here's a run to the right side, if you, or left side. If you've never seen the replacements, I highly recommend it. You'll get to see John Madden describe a play on the Telestrator unlike any play that you would ever see in a real game ever. I got a that's, slight. That's I a got first a, down. I got a slight rebut on that quote, though. I got plenty of scars, and I don't didn't it never work out so well with me with the chicks. <laughs> what? Yeah, I've I've got a few too. It clearly hasn't worked for me. <laughs> what are we missing, partner? Eight twelve to go. Here's a run for a couple. Reminder that Summit Services Heating and Air is our leader in home performance services in the low country. Thanks to Summit Services for supporting WHHI sports all year. They're also our trophy presentation sponsor as well. We will be giving an MVP, our MVP trophy, and that is brought to you by Island Tire and Auto, the longest serving tire retailer and auto repairer on Hilton Head and Island tradition. And oh my, big time throw down there by number 79 for Hilton Head Prep. That's uh, Christian Epke Bueso. Look out for him on the uh, football field, obviously, but on the basketball court as well. Kevin he's Libby and I will be doing basketball. He's a big body, big body. And we could very well be, we'll see what the schedule says, but Coach Basirico Court, the college gymnasium on the, head, on the Hilton Head Prep campus, great. Great environment for basketball. There are a ton of great ones for basketball. And a ton of great ones for football, too. Well, we see uh, Harry Cunningham now, number nine, back at quarterback, the sophomore. So it looks like Ron Peduzzi wants to get his second string and third string, possibly, into the game and get some There's experience and some playing time. A little dump off screen pass to Harrison Skinner. Uh, first time calling Harrison Skinner's name. Daniel, you've got some info on uh, HHCA, the history of this rivalry, and a lot of info about one Ron Peduzzi. Why don't you share that with the folks? Yeah, the, uh, the, the, the wizard, our, the great Larry Giacomot handed me this good information here at halftime. This is the 20th anniversary 
of this rivalry. Wow. The first time these two teams met was, was back in 2002. Two. Um, There's a pass over the middle complete. And that's to the 39 yard line and a flag. Looks like possibly, oh, intercepted, I beg your pardon. Wow. That's a pick. So Cunningham throws a pick. And what we were saying, the, the, the Dolphins got no give up in their, in their game. But what's interesting to me about uh, this, Marcus, and I wasn't aware of this, Coach Jim Carlin, who coached the South Carolina Gamecocks from 1975 to 81, was the head coach for Hilton Head uh, Christian Academy in that game. Guess who the, the Hilton Head prep head coach was? Hmm. I'm going to say Ron Paduzzi. Ron Paduzzi. So there's, in, in fairness, folks, I, I knew that already. There's some, there's some trivia for you, um, very interesting information. But Coach Carlin was actually a personal friend of mine. He was the principal developer of the community, the Paddocks, there on the north end of Hilton Head. Wow. Yeah, got to know Jim real well. Um, he passed away a few years back. But he was the coach uh, when George Rogers, the, Heis, the great Heisman Trophy winning running back, That's right, yeah. uh, played at South Carolina, had a 45 and 36 uh, record there when he was there. He was thir third most in the program's history after Steve Spurrier's 86 and Rex Enright's 64. So in interesting stats there on, on Coach Carlin. He was a real character and actually one of the original founders of Christian Academy along with my good friend and colleague James Wedgworth. 5.32 to go in the third quarter. Harmer fires too tall and it was intended for number 22, that is Jake Sheenan. The score of that game. Third down and five at the 44 yard line. Back, back in on October 31st of 2002, that would have been Halloween night, was 34 to 14 Christian. Boy, and they've gone, they've gone on to, to pile up some wins and some history since then. They, they certainly have. Six state championships in 08, 2010, 2002. Uh, 11, 2020, 2021. They've uh, won 12 Skiza region titles and 246 games in the program's history. Pretty heady stuff. Yeah, I think it's uh, 171 and 75 out of 246 for the record for Peduzzi, right? That's correct. You got it. And that's a run to the outside. They've, they've won a lot, you know, with basketball as well. Had Kenny Conroy as the girls' basketball coach. A uh, plethora of guys coaching basketball for, uh, for them on the, on the boys' side. They've got their AD, Jason Grunkmeyer, coaching basketball on the boys' side in his second year. Um, you know, a lot of sports really doing well. Their golf yeah. team's doing really well over the last several years as here comes a punt. On fourth down and five from the 44-yard line, and it's going to take a prep roll out of bounds at the 37-yard line with four minutes and 43 seconds to go. A reminder that FWDG, the Furniture Warehouse Direct Gallery, the furniture and services you deserve. Want to thank some of our sponsors. Certainly want to thank Fat Babies for feeding us all season long. Uh, Amigos, Chicken Salad Chick, they were our food sponsor at Media Day. Bluffton Barbecue, uh, a few others as well. Superior Services, Elsewhere Sports Memorabilia in Old Town. Randall Lawnmower Equipment, Sales and Service. There's a play to the outside, not much doing. CT Lounge and Company Insurance, Palmetto Electric as well. Thanks so much for uh, all they've done, certainly, in helping us with our commercial spots. A gain of seven, second and three for the Eagles. Ball at the 44-yard line with 4.20 to go and a 33-0 Eagle lead here in the Cross Island Bowl, looking to go to 14-7 and seven in this historic rivalry. Here's a run. Actually, it's a scramble and not much doing as trying to get out of the pocket was Cunningham and make something happen. He couldn't, unfortunately, and there goes the wind again. We're just, I think we're just literally missing a Well, we're getting a, a howling, lot of gusts tonight, aren't we? A howling werewolf. Great uh, tackle there by tw number 22, Jake Sheehan. Jake's been all over the place in this game. He was all over the place in the JP2 game that we saw a few weeks ago, 3.43 to go in the quarter. Yeah, Marcus, I, I liked uh, watching the starters 
come out for Christian Academy at the beginning of the second half. You know, Paducey's got to be looking at this. Like Here's a pass, tipped and incomplete. Paducey's got to be looking at this kind of like we look at in, in, in theater. You know, I'm a theater guy with my involvement with the main stage community theater. Right. But uh, this is a dress rehearsal, basically. Speaking of dress rehearsal and, and theater performances and concerts, shout out to the folks at the Hilton Head Choral Society, of which I'm, I'm a part of. They've got a concert tonight, uh, and certainly this will air throughout. And uh, obviously I've done a lot singing with those folks for years. Shout out to Dustin Owsley and uh, the entire Choral Society of Hilton Head, former artistic, director, uh, former artistic director Tim Reynolds, Janice Creech, and uh, and the entire crew. There's a heck of a punt. Going to take a little bit of a HHP roll, and it'll be down at about the 28-yard line or so with 3.21 to go in the quarter. Reminder that McGinnis Orthodontics is there for you to love your smile. Want to give a quick shout out actually to my dentist, Dr. Joe Miller, Dr. Joseph Miller, just had a little baby girl recently. So uh, Dr. Joe, congrats Dr. over Miller. at Belfair Dental Care in Bluffton. Well, Marcus, we, we talked about how both these schools excel in, in many areas. And, and yeah. you know, just going back to theater, my, my good friend Michelle McElroy Cox is the theater director here at Christian Academy. And the great Patty Maurer is the theater director at Hilton Head Prep. And couldn't, that couldn't is... have two finer and, 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 and more professionally run uh, theater programs than you see at these two schools. They right. are outstanding. That's a catch to the 32-yard line. Hilton Head Prep had a great tennis team this year. We talk about their basketball programs that are very good. Um, their golf teams were very good. I think their women's or their girls' golf team won state. Had a great year. Just really good people with both these schools, with all of these schools we've covered, and and really good folks. Uh, certainly with these two teams, as there's a run up the middle on a low snap, and another flag brought to you by Pay Proudly. Don't get penalized for processing fees. Call Pay Proudly today. Talking about great people and people that are, you know, willing to do what they can to, to learn and whatnot. I mentioned a couple of our interns that we've had with us during football season this year as, again, we've got another flag. I want to give a shout out to Jake McClave, and I wanted to make sure to uh, pronounce the last name correctly. He was an intern with WHHI over the summer. Jessa, Jake, and I went out to the Savannah Bananas facility to interview one Jesse Cole. Five minute interview for the WHHI Daily News. We had a blast for a few hours. Heading there, back, and then on site. And uh, Jake did some great stuff. He's got a great young career. USCB has been great. Shout out to Dr. Jane Violet. Um, and uh, a lot of great folks that were involved with certainly outside that we uh, helped bring into the WHHI family. There's a run up the middle and a, a little hit. bit of smacking with the pads as taken off was Harmer. He's brought down by Wilson, number 26. Yeah, Wilson's the, probably considered their, their top Zane linebacker. Zane Wilson came up and just laid the wood on the running back there. Uh, I'm, both teams still playing hard here as we get toward the end of the third quarter. 145 to go. I mentioned my dad last week. I've got to mention my brother this week. My brother who lives in New Hampshire, I think he was either in Columbus or in Ocala, Florida when he and his now wife Tenley did this. But they dressed up as Wilson and Wilson for Halloween. There's a run for a couple of yards. Can you guess the connection? Not not much there for Cargill. You talking but a bit. Wilson the volleyball? That's one of them. Okay. T Tenley was Wilson the volleyball, and Austin got a uh, a little fence he put over his face, and he was Wilson from Home Improvement, and they, they literally <laughs> went as Wilson and Wilson. Uh, that's it was great. great. Well, Halloween. Of course, a, I just saw pictures of it. Halloween's a great excuse for adults to dress up and act like kids, isn't it? What was your favorite Halloween costume? Ooh, I'd have to say Indiana Jones. Ooh, you'd make a good Indiana Jones. Har Harrison Ford guy. Here's a run up the middle. I've given a couple of impressions to you this year. 
I'll give you another one of describing my favorite Halloween costume. I was actually upset with my mom that year because she made me wear a sweater because it was cold, but I was in a, in a suit with a shirt and tie and a sweater. And I went as, she got a, a fake beard and cut up the, the hair and put it in my hair with bobby pins. Now I have gray hair, at least a little bit, so it would be a little bit more natural now. But I went as Regis Philbin. And instead of saying Happy Halloween, every time somebody opened the door, I'd say, who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs> My favorite Halloween costume of all time. You're a beauty. <laughs> Thank oh you very much. My. Here's a run for a couple up the middle to about the 40-yard line. That was a good Regis. I got to give it to you. Thank you very much. That was on the money. I'll be here all night. <laughs> Try the Marcus deal. Wal Marcus Walsh, folks. Yeah, have, have a bunch of them. Well, I guess we're supposed to be calling football here. Um, you know, again. Nine seconds, eight th seconds left. 33 to nothing. Um, the, the game is, is out, of, out of reach for, for the Dolphins. But as we said, both teams playing hard. It is a rivalry game. There's a lot of uh, fans here that still want to see some action. So yep. we'll see what happens in the fourth. Let's get it on in the fourth. The fourth quarter of the Cross Island Bowl next. 33 nothing HHCA. We'll be back on WHHI Sports TV. Let casual living, fireside and grilling, inspire your outdoor style. Stop by and shop our 15,000 square foot showroom for the perfect patio furniture, fire pits, umbrellas, grills, outdoor kitchens, and more. We're here to help turn your outdoor space into a haven of luxury and style. We offer delivery and setup. We're the only company that services what we sell. Please come by as we love during your business. Casual living. At McGinnis Orthodontics, we're committed to giving you a reason to love your smile. We offer state-of-the-art technologies to create beautiful, healthy smiles by utilizing cutting-edge technology and artificial intelligence to guarantee the best results possible. We're in the 1% of top Invisalign providers in the country. The technologies we use are amazing, but we're pretty sure that it's how much we love what we do and the neighbors we do it for that makes the real difference. Visit us in Hilton Head, Bluffton, and Beaufort and mention this offer to get $250 off treatment. We look forward to seeing you and for you to love your smile. In life, some things just go together, like a burger and fries, and home and auto insurance from State Farm. So make it a combo. Combining your home and auto insurance could save you time and money, and who doesn't like that? Just call State Farm agent Kevin Severe and find out how you can start saving today. It's just another way we're here to help life go right. Hi, I'm Chip Welch with OC Welch Ford. Come pick out your brand new 2022 Expedition or Explorer with over 50 to choose from. With interest rates as low as 1.9%, call or come see me today at OC Welch Ford in Hardyville, South Carolina. All right, we are taking a sideline break. Thanks to Consolidated Planning, our friend Luke Goronsky. Normally I'm saying hi to him during these sideline reports from afar, but right now he's here with us, which is a fun change of pace as the team uh, rejoins the field here. Nice to see you tonight. It's great to be here. It's right down the road from where I live. I, uh, just a walk, literally. Well, I literally walked here. It's literally a walk. I love it. A great night for a walk as well. Sun Kaz is joining us. Uh, we really appreciate our sponsors and the support that you all give to the broadcast of local sports. Thanks so much for doing that, uh, supporting. And, you know, why did you choose to come out and, and be here for a part of this game, other than the short walk, of course? Oh, honestly, we were home with the kids. Kaz wanted to come out and do something, and someone saw himself on TV the other day and got really excited and talked about coming and doing it again. And like I said, we could just walk here and watch local football, and, and Kaz is really w loving watching fo local football. So we just made the walk over here to come over here and let Kaz watch some football, and, and he's all pumped up now with, the, with Halloween coming up and all that. He's super excited. So that's pretty much why we showed up here tonight. Well, we appreciate it. And you know what? We love having the kids on TV. It's a lot of fun. That's part of what this is all about. This is a, a fun sport for families and a fun time to get out here. 
All right, so you mentioned Halloween. What are the plans, family plans for Halloween? Well, we live in a great neighborhood. I mean, we're right across the road from here, and the, the families in there are wonderful, like a lot of the neighborhoods here in Bluffton. I mean, we were blown away when we moved down here at how awesome the neighborhoods are down here. So when it comes to Kaz and his little two-year-old brother, they dress up, and we just walk around our neighborhoods. These trunk-or-treat things are these new things that I, I still haven't quite figured those out yet, but they seem to be all over the place, and every school does it. All these places put it on. But Kaz still loves the walk around the neighborhood, show my costume off, and his little brother, I think this is going to be the first year he might walk around a little, a little bit and do it too. And what are you going to be for Halloween? Pikachu, the Pokemon. Great costume. <laughs> Great costume. I love it. There we go. That's perfect. So, Luke, give us a little bit of an idea. When we saw you at the last game, you were talking a little bit about retirement planning. Uh, expand on that and a little bit about what you do. Uh, sure. So, pretty much the last year has been really really scary for a lot of people so what i do is i just make it less scary so everyone out there knows what i'm talking about the stock market crash the economy the politics of everything that's going on everyone's just kind of looking around and going what what is going on my job is really to help them understand what it is that's going on what decisions they can make to make this easier to deal with and really how they can take advantage of things going forward. So without getting too much into specifics, because everyone's different, everyone has their own rep their, their, their own situation, but that's really what I do is help people understand and stop being afraid. Like, you don't have to be afraid. And we'll help you understand exactly what it is you need to do not to be afraid. Yeah, I mean, that's well put. I mean, just helping people sort of make sense of it all and, and not be so fearful of it. But again, we appreciate your support out here tonight. Glad you could make it out. Glad you came back. Have fun on Halloween, and we'll see you next time. Thank you so much. We welcome you back. We're hoping you're having as good a time as we are Daniel here. Daniel Court along with Regis Philbin yeah, here. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> About to start the fourth quarter. Here's a pass. It's complete. And trying to get a couple of yards out of it is number four. And that's uh, Robar. And with the tackle is number 21 for HHCA. And that's uh, Will Helmstetter. Will Helmstetter, yes. Thank you very much. Robar and Helmstetter, that's two, two more good names. We, we, we were talking Second about great. Second down great people at both these schools and these in these programs um, but but great really starts at home doesn't it it, it certainly does we, we've seen I've seen, I've seen a lot of great friends personal friends of mine here tonight but uh, you know there are parents out here everywhere they were tailgating before the game and it's clear that character and integrity and values start at home and that pass caught by number 11 that that's is Graham Graham yes but uh, Graham a little bit slow to get up. Lucas Gates with the tackle. Graham actually still down. And we are going to have a stoppage injury timeout as Graham having a hard time getting up. We'll take it with him. Be right back on WHHI Sports TV. Hi, I'm Barry Edwards with Island Tire and Automotive Services. You know that the amount of tire that's actually making contact with the road is about the same size as a slice of watermelon. And that's all you have to keep you safe. It makes sense to have the best like Michelin. That's why Allen Tire has been proudly selling Michelin tires since 1978. At Allen Tire, we don't think of it as just a set of tires. You can trust us to be thinking about the safety of your car and more importantly, what's inside. Hi, I'm Bruce Wood, managing partner of Hilton Head Capital Partners. And I'm here to be part of your fun high school football season. It's a great time. But the game begins with the coin toss, and that's what I like to see first. So let's have a fun time. Let's all play safe. Let's enjoy our teams. And please, don't drink and drive. Your parents want you around for a while. So enjoy the game and enjoy the season. At McGinnis Orthodontics, we're committed to giving you a reason to love your smile. We offer state-of-the-art technologies to create beautiful, healthy smiles by utilizing cutting-edge technology and artificial intelligence to guarantee the best results possible. We're in the 1% of top Invisalign providers in the country. The technologies we use are amazing, but we're pretty sure that it's how much we love what we do and the neighbors we do it for that makes the real difference. Visit us in Hilton Head, Bluffton, and Beaufort and mention this offer to get $250 off treatment. We look forward to seeing you and for you to love your smile. Hi, I'm Chip Welch with OC Welch Ford. Come pick out your brand new 2022 Expedition or Explorer with over 50 to choose from. 
with interest rates as low as 1.9%. Call or come see me today at OC Welch Ford in Hardyville, South Carolina. Welcome back. 10.50 and counting to go in the ball game. A reminder that again at McGinnis Orthodontics, you can love your smile. Casual living fireside and grilling for the casual life. McGinnis is our scoreboard sponsor, our tailgate sponsor. One of them is casual living. Harmer's pass incomplete. And it's fourth down and eight for Hilton Head Prep. Well, obviously, you know, Prep is going to go for it here. I, I like, you know, they, they need to convert here. So, obviously, uh, Christian's going to drop at least seven, maybe eight players back in preparation for probably a, a, a pass downfield. But I like to see maybe Harmer find somebody underneath because that's probably going to be soft here, it's my guess. Fourth down. Harmer going back to throw. Dumps it off. Picked off. That was just way too short right out of the gate. There's a big run down the sideline. Taking it near the 20 yard line. And a big return for Hilton Head Christian Academy as it was intercepted. James Crosby. By James Crosby. First time mentioning his name tonight. Crosby has done it on both sides of the ball this year as a wide receiver and guy out of the defensive backfield. And he has a big return there on the interception. Yeah, and, and just uh, Prep did exactly what I had hoped they would do, which was try to find something soft underneath to get the fourth down conversion. And I was dead wrong. I thought there would be a soft spot there. And uh, boy, Crosby just filled no, the sir. hole and made a just a, a great athletic play. He's a good looking athlete too. Reminder, Hilton Head Capital Partners is navigating you to financial freedom. There's a little pitch and a little razzle dazzle. And HHCA getting down to the 16. Boy, Lucas Gates is a freshman. He looks good, doesn't he, Marcus? You know, he certainly does, yeah. He's, he's small, but he's a freshman. He's going to fill out, uh, obviously, and uh, put, put a little weight on that body. He's got great speed, a nice burst. And uh, as we've said before, a lot of these Christian Academy skill players know what to do with the football once it's in their hands. First down. Ball at the 17-yard line. And that's a fumble. And nothing that can be done except just getting on it. And something blue was thrown on the field. That's interesting. It's probably a bean bag there to mark the, the spot where the, the ball was fumbled. I, yeah, I, I got to yeah. say, I, I, I like what I saw there from quarterback Harry Cunningham. You know, a lot of times the the instinct is to try to pick the ball up. And we all know, well, cer I certainly know how hard it is to pick a ball, a football up that's bouncing around. Right. I like to s see a quarterback just or, or, or any skill player fall on the ball. Yeah. Secure it. The ball security is everything in football. Second and eight. High snap, Cunningham throws. Oh my, I thought that might have been an interception than I thought catch. It was 20 on 20. That's uh, 20, Thomas Dowling 20, 20. going on defense up against John Mosing, or John Mossing. So Dowling on Mossing and it's incomplete. Well, and the Dolphins, again, they're still playing hard. They're still playing with intensity. They're still playing with some speed. Uh, you know, keep, keep doing your thing, guys. Third down and eight. Reminder that Kevin Severe of State Farm is there for all your home and auto insurance needs. Another bad snap to Cunningham. And coming in and making the sack is number 22, Hamilton Butler, the sophomore. So Hamilton Butler comes in. Makes the sack. That's actually and Jake, Jake, Jake it's, Sheehan. Oh, you're absolutely right. I was looking at the wrong roster. <laughs> Not the first time that's happened, folks. Yeah. So Sheehan. We with called the sack. his name a lot tonight, haven't we? We have, and, and we did a few weeks ago. So good stop there by the Dolphins. And get, they get the ball it's back. It's going back the other way. Sure would love to see these guys put the ball in the end zone. Let's see what they can do here. Reminder, Bluffton Builders, our timeout sponsor for this year, always built with integrity. Certainly want to thank Consolidated Planning and Luke Garonski as well. Contact Luke Garonski 
for more information on local experienced financial planning. And there's Will Henry Alford making the, uh, taking the football there and a flock of Eagles there to make a hard hit on the stop. Yeah, Alford's been their workhorse tonight. I, I think they're trying to throw a little bit of a wrinkle into their offensive scheme here by putting him at the Wildcat position. Second down and nine. Eight, 19 and counting remaining in the ball game. Reminder that Pay Proudly is our flag sponsor this year. Don't get penalized with processing fees. Call Pay Proudly today. Stokes Toyota Beaufort, your friendly community dealer for a truly exceptional experience. We thank Jessica Surrett for going out there, talking with Michael Lynn. There's a run to the outside. And a good gain by number 21, Will Henry Alford. And a flag thrown as we hear whistles. So Jessica Surrett and Michael Lynn giving you a bunch of info on what's going on at Stokes Toyota Beaufort. They're a halftime sponsor for us this season. 7.57 and counting. Reminder that officials for football, basketball, a whole plethora of sports are needed. Need a bunch of officials for every game that's played in the South Carolina, Low Country, and beyond. Go to highschoolofficials.com to find out more. And again, uh, un unfortunate holding call to, to follow a really good gain there by Alford and the Dolphins. And you know, what, what, what do you say last week? It's uh, uh, 10 yards forward and 15 yards back. Not quite as much this week, but Not it's- Not quite as much, but yeah, we've seen that. It's been a theme. Yeah. Seems to have been a theme the last few weeks. Second and five, 38 yard line, 738 and counting to go in the Cross Island Bowl. There's a run to the right side and not much doing for Hilton Head Prep as they gain a few. And the football spotted at the 44 yard line. It is a first down, 7.23 to go, so it is enough for a Kevin Severe of State Farm first down. For all your home and auto insurance needs, contact Kevin Severe today. Well, and again, I think what uh, Prep is trying to do here is, is get, get their athlete offered out in space and just see what he can do. Here's a roll to the right side and taking it for a good chunky yardage is Hilton Head Prep. And that was all for, I believe that was a direct snap. And we got another flag. Him. And indeed, yeah. multiple. A lot of guys on this Hilton Head Prep team that are just freshmen and sophomores that we saw in the JP2 game as well as this one. Wyatt Harmer, Davis Cargill, Paulie Smith, Tyler Britschke on the offensive line. Paulie Smith on the offensive line as well. Brody Hauscher, Anders Asklin, and Jake Sheenan. Freshmen and sophomores, that's gonna be great to see them over the next few years. Yeah, it looks like offsetting personal fouls there. Little chippiness after that one. And you mentioned freshmen. Uh, let's see. Uh, Christian Academy has a host of good looking freshmen. Harrison Skinner, number one. Uh, Called his name once so far tonight. Jack Klein, Reed McCollum, Hudson Here's a run Baker. up the middle and prep with a big play, trying to bust through that defensive front. And a good play to the 40 yard line for Hilton Ed Prep. It's going to be close to a first down, if not there. 6.25 remaining in the ball game. Some more freshmen for Christian. Cole Lindstedt, John Mosing, Thomas Jim, Chip Hetzel, Lucas Gates. Uh, down the list, Finn June, Shane Pierce, Caleb Brickstock. Boy, a lot of freshmen on both these teams, so a lot to be excited about if you're a Christian fan and a Christian coach. Bright futures for both these teams. For sure. Reminder, Island Tire and Auto, the longest serving Tyler retailer and auto repairer on Hilton Head at Island Tradition. They're gonna sponsor some post-game stuff for us with our MVP and Selectric, your Power Pro Elite Generac dealer done right now. Our play of the game brought to you by Selectric and right now it's looking like that opening second half play that was deep to the, near the end zone and the extra effort 
get in the end zone for Anderson that started things as we've got another flag. Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned that play, Marcus. I don't know that we ever really got a chance to, to dissect that play, but I, I love that play because it was all created by the vision and the legs of Dylan Clark. He nearly, uh, he was nearly sacked, but we talked about his great vision, how those eyes are always upfield, and he anticipated the defender who was coming at him on a beeline, got outside to the roll to his left, which is one of the hardest things for a right-handed quarterback to, to do, planted his feet, got the ball downfield, and to his big 6'4 wide receiver in Isaiah Anderson, and it was just a dynamic play in every respect. Let's hear from O.C. Welch Ford, our national anthem sponsor. O.C. Welch Ford, go see O.C. today for a great car buying experience. And while you're at it, why don't you plug Beth Drake one more time for us? Ah, uh, my friend Beth. Call Beth, your experienced local realtor, whether buying or selling. Beth Drake of Keller Williams. Here's a deep ball. Could it be? Nope, incomplete. But I'm thinking maybe pass interference, but maybe not. That was Will Henry Alford going deep, and uh, as in passing the ball deep, and the intended receiver was Hurlbar, number four, Torin Hurlbar. 5.26 to go in the ball game. Looks like we've got a timeout, Marcus. All right, we'll take it as well. Be right back on WHHI Sports TV. Hi, I'm Mike Zachman, broker at Keller Williams Realty. I've maintained a successful business model through multiple market shifts over time. I know this market and I know real estate. Serving 22 years in the Navy as a Navy diver, combined with a lifetime of boating on the coast, have enabled me to know the waterways that are an integral part of the low country lifestyle. Whether you're buying or selling, myself and my team can help you navigate the coastal South Carolina real estate market. Give us a call. We connect people to their work, to their families, to all things essential. That's why your Touchstone Energy Cooperative is here every day, making life easier in all the ways that matter. And of all the connections we make, we know none are more powerful than the human connection. Palmetto Electric Cooperative, your source for power and information. As a business owner, local service is important to me. I want to work with companies that know me, know my business, and are here when I need them. Pay Proudly's team listened to me and developed a custom solution that saved significant amount of money and made our process to accept payments easier. But what makes working with Pay Proudly even more meaningful is that they genuinely care. They contribute a percentage of fees collected to local charities that are important to me at no additional cost. We are Pay, Pay Proudly. 5.26 to go. There's a uh, drawing going on and we heard from the PA up at the press box a little bit of ways away from us that Morton Be Morgan Beatball was the winner. The PA guy even said, "Is here's a run to the right side and a nice play near the 20 yard line, near the 30 yard line, and we, another flag was thrown. I, I mean, are we seeing this again? So Morgan Beatonball apparently won that uh, that award or that uh, raffle. So we've got another penalty. Might as well mention Pay Proudly one more time. Don't get penalized with processing fees. Call Pay Proudly today. The fine folks at Pay Proudly." At least a couple of them were at this game here tonight. They could still be here. Well, as I'm, I'm sure Pay Pay proudly is 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 grateful for the for the shout out. But boy, it sure is tough to see all of these nice gains and nice plays for the Dolphins erased by penalties. And again, I, I just, at this stage of the game, I, I would just kind of hope that the refs would just let these guys play it out and give uh, give the Dolphins a chance to get this thing in the end zone. Thirty-three to nothing. Hilton had prep with the ball at about midfield, and here's a run up the middle to the 45 yard line. 440 remaining and counting. Going to have the 
play of the game, the MVP of the game, and our trophy presentation to the winning head coach. That's going to be Ron Paduzzi. And we'll, uh, we'll pick a MVP of the game. I have a feeling I know where we're going, but we'll have that for you here shortly. Fourth down, 14. Here is a punt. It is high and fairly deep. Going to take a heck of a roll, and Hilton Head Christian Academy going to start with their worst field position of the night just inside the five-yard line. 4.04 remaining in the ballgame. HHCA with a long field to go. What would be nice, because they're starting at the five-yard line, Daniel, is to get either a quick three and out and get good field position here, or in my opinion, even better yet, a turnover. Turnover, yeah. A fumble. Or I'm, I'm sure that's exactly what the defensive coaches and the players are thinking about. I Let's think get that's a turnover and use this great uh, field position that they've Pen the Christian Academy. Oh, and maybe did how about safety? a safety? That's awfully close, if not counting to be a safety. Wow, um, that's going to be on the one inch line. Literally. So I guess second best thing to a turnover would be a safety, right? That well, that, that's that going to be second down. Guarantees no shutout. Larry Jackamock just said next week, Florence Academy, four and five on the year and two and two in region play, will take on HHCA. Thank you, LJ. I've never called Larry that before. But LJ. I thought, you know what? Why right. not? I like it. Second down and long. Just like your DC. I am. MW Indeed. isn't quite as stylish, <laughs> but Lucas Gates on the MJW is not bad. Throwing the middle name in there. Middle start, initial. Start That's a couple yards. Start calling you Regis from now on. <laughs> and. I just looked over at Jeremy Pope's uh, sheet of info, and he's got LL Cool J written down. <laughs> uh, Larry is a cool I guy. Call, I pass just, over the middle. I just call cut. him Gandalf because he's that, the wizard. He's a wizard. That's a first down, and to get now, HHCA a little bit of breathing now, room to that, the 22-yard line. That's how you get out of the cellar right there. Yes. A quick slant across the middle, really well executed. Great throw by Harry Cunningham. Now that's that's a hard pass to make. Um, it's gotta be in time. He, he set his feet back in the, almost the back of his own end zone and delivered a beautiful ball. Wanna give another shout out to our GM, Jessa Jeremiah, and everything that she does to make this station run as well as it does. She's a terrific GM and, and an even better person. I was going to say, um, not, a, not only a great leader, but, a, but a, a, just, just an incredible just human being. Just a great human being. Yep. It's been, been great. And I actually, I think you knew this, Daniel, but I actually worked with Jessa, albeit just briefly, in her first stint here. That's when I was kind of first before starting. They went, we, before, before they went off to Wisconsin. Before they went off to Wisconsin. And there's a run up the middle. And cutting it to the outside to about the 35-yard line. Now, and when I was told that she was coming back, smile just came across my face like you wouldn't believe. Well, and, and she's been tremendous to, to work for and with over the last couple of years. You got to respect, really respect somebody that moves from uh, the low country to Wisconsin. Yeah. <laughs> no, no offense to Wisconsin, but it's cold. Not enough cheese in the world. <laughs> I'm telling you. Whoa. My, 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 my mother, the good old Southern Baptist uh, lady that she was, she said. There's a pass complete to the outside, a little screen action, and there's some running room down the sideline as it is number one, Skinner, making the catch off the pass from Harry Cunningham. We've got one nineteen remaining. MVP, Dylan, 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 Dylan Clark. One fifteen to go. Yeah, back, back to my mother, Marcus. She would always say, when, when she'd hear folks from the North complaining about the South, she'd say, well, say what you want about the South. Nobody's retiring North. <laughs> That's right. It's a shout out to my beautiful late mother. Well, we're inside one minute. That partner, we are. And it's a, it's a wrap for the season. I'm going to miss this. We're going to have the uh, post-game show coming up. HHCA going to take the knee 
And believe it or not, folks, Hilton Head Prep gave up 35 points in the game against uh, JP2 that we saw a few weeks ago. 33 tonight. And, and I mean, a lot of it certainly had to do with a couple of things that, that happened on the field and, and whatnot, but pretty pretty good performance, I'd say. A, a gutsy performance well, despite well, they the played, shutout. Well, they played hard. Yep. Uh, that's, they played hard and they played with pride, and that's, that's all you can ask. There it goes. The wind's starting to howl again. There's a low snap. Thank you, folks. And two, one. That'll do it for the Cross Island Bowl. HHCA moves to 14 and seven in this rivalry. Daniel and I will wrap it up with the Island Tire and Summit Services Heating and Air post-game report. That's coming up next here on WHHI Sports TV. Hang on. Hey, are you looking to make living in the low country a little more affordable? Do you have a detached garage just like this one? Well, why not add on to it and make it a passive income opportunity? They call this a carriage house or an accessory dwelling unit or ADU. By building an ADU, you will increase your home's value, have an opportunity to actually make some money, and give someone a high quality home to live in and rent just like this one. My name is Ryan from Bluffton Builders, and my goal is to make home ownership more enjoyable through the highest quality craftsmanship, convenience, and communication. To learn more, go to Bluffton.Builders forward slash ADU. At McGinnis Orthodontics, we're committed to giving you a reason to love your smile. We offer state-of-the-art technologies to create beautiful, healthy smiles by utilizing cutting-edge technology and artificial intelligence to guarantee the best results possible. We're in the 1% of top Invisalign providers in the country. The technologies we use are amazing, but we're pretty sure that it's how much we love what we do and the neighbors we do it for that makes the real difference. Visit us in Hilton Head, Bluffton, and Beaufort and mention this offer to get $250 off treatment. We look forward to seeing you and for you to love your smile. Life is full of choices, and the choices we make directly affect our quality of life. Our day is much easier when we don't hit the snooze alarm 10 times and show up late for work. We feel better when we eat a well-balanced meal versus running through the drive through And when it comes to your comfort at home or in the workplace, the result of hiring a fly-by-night repair guy or award-winning professional is night or day. Life is full of choices. For your home, for your family, for your environment. Make the superior choice. Call Superior today. Hi, I'm Chip Welch with OC Welch Ford. Come pick out your brand new 2022 Expedition or Explorer with over 50 to choose from. With interest rates as low as 1.9%, call or come see me today at OC Welch Ford in Hardyville, South Carolina. Second down and 10. Clark scrambling out of trouble. Scrambling up, throwing one deep, and caught at the five yard line. Weaving his way to the goal line. Are you kidding me? Touchdown! Are you kidding me? Isaiah Anderson. Isaiah Anderson would not go down. Hey, Marcus, I guess that's what you can do when you're 6 4. He's a Jalen Linder size receiver. And Unbelievable. Good hands and clearly strength. That was what an effort. What what a play by Dylan Clark. I mean, that was we might have just seen our play of the game, partner. I think I don't that know, I don't is know how it. you top that. We'll be back with more after this on WHHI. Imagine how inconvenient your life would be without power. No lights, no refrigeration, no heating or cooling, no electronics. But with a Generac Home Standby Generator, you will have power when you need it most. Generac generators automatically provide backup power after sensing a power outage. So your life goes on uninterrupted. No doubt we're living in uncertain times and many of our loved ones are spending more time at home. Selectric will have you prepared when the power goes out. Selectric. Done right now. This is the mower that cut the lawn where you laid on your back so a princess could fly. The Xmark Radius will get you on and off the lawn quickly with the signature cut, comfort, and reliability more landscape pros trust. Xmark, official mowers of the backyard life. Visit your local dealer or explore the Xmark Radius online for special finance offers available now. 
Have you joined the Express Comfort Club from Summit Services Heating and Air? It's the ultimate way to keep your cool. Membership is free and includes discounts on routine maintenance, 15% discount on all repairs, three-year parts and labor warranty, no overtime charges, plus other benefits. Your comfort is just a call away. To sign up for Express Comfort Club, call 843-836-2653. Welcome in to the Island Tire and Summit Services Heating and Air postgame show. Midst a couple of raindrops, HHCA, we've got the whole gang with us. Their winners 33 0 in this matchup in the Cross Island Bowl to go to 14 and 7 all time in this rivalry. Daniel Court's got a couple of questions for the winning head coach, Ron Peduzzi. Yes, I do. I'm surrounded by a flock of winning Eagles here. Yeah. Dirty winning Eagles. And it, it's my it's my pleasure to to award this trophy to head coach Ron Peduzzi. I'm glad to give it to him because it's really heavy. Here you go, coach. Congratulations. Can you tell they're excited, folks? Yes. Well, it's always fun to win games. It's especially fun to win rivalry games, coach. We, we talked about on air. This is the was the 20th anniversary of this matchup. And in that matchup, you faced Coach Jim Carlin, the legendary coach of yes. South Carolina, yeah. and you were the head coach of the Hilton Head Prep team. Tell us a little bit about that. The game was at uh, Hilton Head High School. It was the first time we uh, played each other in a varsity game. Coach Carlin was over there. Uh, Marwin Klein was uh, an assistant coach over there. He's our strength and uh, conditioning coach and uh, does a great job. And, and uh, they had some good players. And uh, Coach Carlin, before the game, he had all the referees over there, and they were they were all talking to carry on, and they all knew him. And then the referees came over to me, and they were like, uh, Coach, what can we do for you? <laughs> yeah, but it, was, it was great. Coach Carlin was a great guy. He was, he was a real uh, – <laughs> He was a real, uh, he was a real good guy, and uh, appreciate him a lot. But it was a good game. But uh, Hill and Ed Christian won that game just like uh, Hill and Ed Christian won tonight. So yeah. it was good. Yeah. Yes, you did, and and we talked about you know it's almost playoff time, and you guys you know look to have another deep run into the playoffs and defend that state championship. You know, a, a lot of times you know games like this can be a dress rehearsal for those games. What are you what are you focusing on now as you move into playoff time? What do, how do you get these guys to focus and, and get ready for for the biggest games of the season? Well, you said the right word, focus, and we've been talking about that focus and discipline, and we need to do that, and we need to stop the run. Yeah. Uh, you know, skis are the three teams that are top ahead of us, or uh, and the four teams are real good running teams, and we got to do real good against that, and then we got to make some plays on offense and. Uh, uh, great turnovers on defense and make big plays on offense. So that's what we really need to do. So focus and discipline. Well, you heard it from Coach Ron Paduzzi. Uh, stay with us, folks. Marcus is going to be right back here with our player of the game and a very special young man. I think my biggest fear coming back to college was failure. I had failed before, but TCL really did give me that confidence. The professors really want you to achieve and accomplish your goals. And TCL made coming back to college really easy by making it fun, affordable, and providing that place for us to feel like we can succeed and make it work. I would tell somebody that if they wanted to change their life, that this is what they needed to do. In life, some things just go together, like a burger and fries, and home and auto insurance from State Farm. So make it a combo. Combining your home and auto insurance could save you time and money, and who doesn't like that? Just call State Farm agent Kevin Severe and find out how you can start saving today. It's just another way we're here to help life go right. Hi, I'm Barry Edwards with Island Tire and Automotive Services. Here at Island Tire, we like to provide you with peace of mind by using the best with Michelin tires. With 19 plants in North America, seven of those are here in South Carolina. Michelin makes it easy to support local giving because they provide the best quality, top leading innovation and service. Three things Michelin and Island Tire and Automotive Services have in common. 
quality innovation and service. Give us a call today. We welcome you back into the island tire and auto postgame show along with Summit Services Heating and Air. Marcus Walsh, Daniel Court, and a bunch of the Hilton Head Christian Academy Eagles with you. We just heard from Ron Peduzzi, now our MVP of the game we're going to hear from, and that's Dylan Clark, the quarterback, number seven of the HHCA Eagles. Dylan, talk about what you saw tonight with your offensive line giving you plenty of time to find a plethora of receivers. Yeah, offensive line did great, gave me plenty of time back there. A few times I had to scramble out, but most of the time I had plenty of time to throw, get it our good receivers. Wells made some good plays, same with Harrison. Everybody did, did well on the offensive line, too. Your defense was stout tonight, and they've been stout in some big moments all year long. What did you see out of them there on the sideline? Oh, uh, yeah, they were playing great out there. I saw Jan there was a lot of picks. Evan. At the beginning of the game, he dropped one, but he got back, and he made another one, or his first one of his high school career, which was good. Good to see. I think that was the third straight year that we've shut them out, which is a good one for our defense. Earlier on in the year, you had a couple of tough losses, and then huge bounce back. Only have had two losses in region play. Really rolling the last couple of weeks after that PD loss. Talk about what you're looking forward to in, uh, in the playoffs here coming up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the coach has been saying all year that the team that improves most from the beginning of the season to state championships will win the state championships. So as long as we keep improving and um, keep playing our game, we should be able to make a long run in the playoffs and hopefully defend that state championship. Obviously still a lot yet to decide in the next couple of weeks, but you're off to a really good start, especially the last couple of weeks again coming off that PD defeat. What are uh, some thoughts heading into the playoffs, which start next week? Uh, I'm just excited. Um, this is the first time I'll be playing in like these playoffs where I'm the quarterback, so I'm excited to go out there, hopefully keep my streak going. We've been playing, playing really well over the last few weeks, like you said, after that PD game, and hopefully we get to face them again because I want to beat them. And to certainly have the plethora of guys around you and behind you, it's got to make you feel pretty good too, right? Yeah, I'm surrounded by a lot of good talent. Gage, Isaiah, Matt, I can't name all of them. I mean, everybody's really good out here. <laughs> Dylan, thanks so much. Coach, thanks so much. Thank Daniel, thank you very much. For all of us at WHHI Sports, Burn Acquisition, the WHHI family, I'm Marcus Walsh. Thanks so much for joining us for WHHI's presentation of high school football all year long, sponsored by Summit Services Heating and Air and the plethora of other sponsors we have. We'll see you next year, only on WHHI Sports. So long, everybody.